High School Football Zone here on WHHI-TV. I'm Dale Planica alongside Chuck Zapek. And, Chuck, we've got the Bridge Bowl here tonight and should be a lot of footballs in the air. And they're playing for this guy right here. It's not the Heisman, but why don't you tell us a little bit about it, Dale? Well, this is the Bridge Bowl trophy, and it's presented this year by the Golas Family Jewelers and uh, proud sponsors, and they'll be presenting it at the conclusion of tonight's game to the winning coach. So that'll be uh, quite an event, uh, along with all our other events, uh, as part of our game here tonight. Well, to get well, uh, whoever wins tonight's game will get a beautiful trophy to, to, to host at their high school. But I'm really looking forward to tonight's game because of the action I think we're going to see. We have C.J. Fraser leading the Bobcats from Bluffton, coming in with 19 touchdown passes in the first five games. He had 49 last year. On the other side of the ball, we've got a, a, a rebuilding project at Hilton Head High and they're coming into the game with Michael Julian who's just has been just as uh, as productive offensively he's had a great start to the season I think we're going to see a lot of fireworks Dale and they both got uh, some good weapons to work with running backs as well as wide receivers so there should be quite a bit of scoring although Bluffton does have a tremendous defense. Oh, they do too. They're hard hitting. They're, they're, they're fast and they try to force turnovers. And that's something that's one of the keys to tonight's game for the Seahawks from Hilton Head that they have to do is avoid turnovers. Win the kicking game and be able to run the football. If they can do those three things, they'll have an opportunity to stay in tonight's game. Chuck Zapek here with the opposing coaches. Coach Cribs, this is your fifth bowl game. Anything special you have to do for tonight? Play well, play fast, play well. Coach Payne, this is your first Bridge Bowl game. What did you have? You have any problem getting your players up for this game tonight? No, I think with the rivalry game, you know, it's always going to be there. You know, we're just trying to come out and play hard and bring respectability back to the rivalry. Coach Cribs, Coach Payne, best of luck tonight. After the game, we'll have the presentation of the Bridge Bowl trophy. Thank you much. Thank you, Coach. Good luck. Good luck, Coach. Well, we're getting set for the kickoff, and Chuck, this is just like your almost Heisman trophy. <laughs> But uh, this will be the Bridge Bowl trophy. The Golas Family Jewelers will be presenting us a collision of tonight's game. We'll be ready for the, the uh, Bridge Bowl coming up here on the WHHI TV, the high school football zone. Right guard number 55, Josh Garrett. The folks here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram are piling on the savings with a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country and hitting the road in comfort. With a spacious interior, you can take the whole crew on your next adventure. Where'd everybody go? Come test drive one today at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram at the new River Auto Mall. We're located on Highway 278, exit 8 at I-95 or online at HiltonHeadCJD.com. We have it all at the new River Auto Mall. Golas Family Jewelers is a family-owned business that you've trusted as we've serviced our community for over 15 years. Golas is now inviting you to visit us at the store next door. The store next door is an eclectic collection of unique fashions and gifts, we offer Bravo bags, chameleon sterling silver jewelry, laurel birch accessories, and Kier jewelry. I'm Chris Golis, and we want to thank you for your continued business and invite you to come see us at the store next door. Golis, an industry name you can trust. The answer is right there in the patterns. Our best guess is it hasn't gotten very far. Oh, we rattle a few. Morning. Five minutes. Homeland Marathon. On demand. We put Showtime on your time. Sorry. Passionate about Homeland? We invent better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Oh, salt and dog. Oh, salt and dog. You're sly as a fox. You salt and dog. Captain Cherokee sitting in a tree, a Kiwi waving back at me. But it won't you be the salt dog, old salty dog, old salty dog. You die as a fox, a salty dog. Down the south he's sitting by the dog, singing a song about a salty dog. But it won't you be the salty dog. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor in patients. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. 
H&H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H&H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H&H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H&H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H&H Auto. Collins Pest Control has been serving the Lowcountry for almost 13 years. Staffed with trained professionals in the industry, we offer monthly and quarterly pest control services. Need a seal 100 for a real estate closing or a termite free treat for new construction? Call Collins Pest Control today. We are a family owned business and we are dedicated to providing quality service to our valued customers. Let our family help your family. Call us today at 524-5544 for a free estimate. When it comes to saving money on your electric bill, a thin bead of caulk can go a long way. Find out how your Touchstone Energy Cooperative can help you save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. We are Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your Touchstone Energy Partner. At 123 Drive Driving Academy, the goal is to help students become confident, cautious, and courteous drivers. They offer high-quality classroom and behind-the-wheel training with friendly, professional, and state-certified instructors who make learning easy and safe. Go to 123drivedrivingacademy.com for more information or call 263-5023 and mention the Friday Night Football Zone to receive $10 off your training session. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, call 123 Drive Driving Academy. Beautiful Bridge Bowl trophy that'll be presented is sponsored by the oh, Golas Family there Jewelers. It is there right now. They're walking by, right past the Bridge Bowl. The Hilton Head High School team is coming yep. out of the locker room. Reminiscent of Chuck's uh, almost Heisman trophy. <laughs> uh, that's great, Dale. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty exciting game. I, I, you know, it should be on paper a game that often uh, moving up to the 4A region, 4A level, uh, should be the more dominant team. But I really think that Hilton Head High and the Seahawks do have an opportunity to stay in tonight's game, particularly if they can, do, can accomplish what I talked about in the pregame show: the ability to run the football, prevent long scores, prevent long turnovers, and win the kicking game. Well, in their first year under B.J. Payne and. Uh, Coach Payne's got them turned around on the right track. They dropped their opening game, but uh, since have won two and and uh, come to this game on a, on a on a roll, so to speak. And their their motto's been change it. And they just want you know if they're not happy with what you're doing, change it. That's his motto, and uh, the team's bought into it so far. They have too. Now they played three common opponents coming into tonight's game. Well Branch, which you mentioned, and they, and that was the one game that the Seahawks lost the opening game. A game they really thought they should have won. Uh, they had a running back fumble three times in the first half. Uh, they had an, an unfortunate penalty called on a fourth down muff punt and ended up on a pass interference call. And then uh, they had a couple miscues in the kicking game. So that was their one loss. They also played Ridgeland and Wade Hampton, both teams. And uh, both teams handled Ridgeland and Wade Hampton very handily. Well, we're about set uh, for the kickoff, but we're going to take a quick commercial break. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. Do you need to sell a home? Or are you looking to purchase a new one? 
Hi, I'm Rhonda Merrick with Ballinger Realty of Beaufort, South Carolina. I've been serving the Lowcountry for six years, and I want to help you with any of your real estate needs. I'll assist with finding the right loan and lender, and I will help you with every detail before closing. Whether you're a first-time home buyer, military personnel, or retiring to Beaufort, together we can find the perfect match to fit your lifestyle and your budget. For real estate on the move, call Rhonda Merrick. Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Sugg. I've been a dentist for over 20 years and I've recently moved my practice here from Ohio. What makes Ocean Dental different? I offer weekend and evening hours, which is great for busy professionals. Cosmetic dentistry options are available and best of all, I'm offering a free exam and x-rays for any new patients. Having the right family dentist is important. Call Ocean Dental at 342-6677 to schedule a free exam and x-rays. Your teeth are your ultimate accessory, and I'll make yours shine. back with the 2012 Bridge Bowl here in Bluffton, South Carolina, where the Bobcats are ready to come out on the field to start this kickoff. The Hilton Head in uh, all white, their uh, light blue helmets, they're in the far end zone. They're yeah, getting ready. Coach has got them fired up. That's the Seahawks. Here come the Seahawks. They're their uh, cheerleaders and supporters. And next up, we'll see the uh, Bobcats charge out on the field. Again, we're playing for the Bridge Bowl Trophy presented by the Golas Family Jewelers. Chuck, we got a great game here tonight, I believe. We do, too. You know, coming into Bridge Bowl, it only started in 2006 when we left the field at their first varsity football team. And that game was won 10 to nothing by Hilton Head High. Things have turned around since that point in time in the last two years. Bluffton has dominated this game 280 to 6 in the last four games. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one to overcome. Oh, here come the Bobcats, all in black. Their silver helmets. We've got a full house here in Bluffton. Yeah, coming into tonight's game, he got a really explosive offense. Running the spread offense out of the out of shotgun and a pistol sometimes. You have CJ Frazier, one of the leaders in the area of football. He's second in the area with 19 touchdowns. Dell, only one interception. Can you believe that? 19 touchdowns, one interception. Just a great job. He's up to 968 yards for the year so far. It's been tough to hear here tonight, Chuck, I tell you. I thought I was just getting old, I can't hear you, but. <laughs> well, there's been a lot of excitement, and I think we got the speakers right above us. <laughs> Is that what they gave, put us here to turn us out, Dale? Well, I tell you, we got another beautiful night for football here. I mean, the beautiful, perfect sky, and you can see down in the field, it's Coach Ken Cribb in his third year. And he's getting his, his uh, team ready here. Well, Coach Cribb had the same challenge presented to him as B.J. Payne does at Hilton Head. When he came here three years ago, the team had a losing record for a number of years. They were really down and out in terms of spirit. He brought it on, put in an off-season program, got the support of the parents, and brought them around. And uh, now you have probably one of the most dominant high school football teams in the state right now. Last time we looked at the rankings, they were ranked 11th in the entire state. And of course, this year they moved up to 4A based on their enrollment, and Hilton had 3A. Last year they played twice, 
And uh, this year they just play the, the one time because they are regional opponents, and and obviously this this hopefully will become a rivalry once again. But it's tough when it's uh, which is a 280 to six over the last. <laughs> they overcome that. Couple, yeah, that's 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 not much of a rivalry, but. Uh, well, you know the the uh, Lufton moving into 4A also. Um, they, they've yet to play a 4A team. Well, they played one from from Georgia, which is a little bit different because Georgia goes as high as 5A. But they did play one 4A team. That's the only one out of state. They've yet to play a team in their region. They will in two weeks when they play the team we saw last week, Buford. All right, well, we're ready to kick it off here. It's Colin White kicking for the Seahawks. And the Bobcats with three men deep to receive. Just a perfect night for football. Oh, it is. Referees too. are ready. We're ready. And here's the kick. It's high and short. And we got we got whistles to start the game. Yeah, a little anxious there on the Seahawks side. Jumped off sides. Well, tonight's game is brought to you by New River Auto Mall. They have it all at the New River Auto Mall. Over 1,000 vehicles at 12 dealerships, all in one location. Visit the New River Auto Mall. You know, I played for Marv Levy, who was uh, uh, up, up with uh, the Kansas City Chiefs and also the Montreal Alouettes in the Canadian Football League. Marv was a, a special teams coach with the Washington Redskins before he came up and became a head coach. And one of the things he always was careful about was kicking the ball out of bounds, particularly the first kickoff. The reason is now you got to make your team run a second time, run sprints down there. And what happens is you're usually setting yourself up for a little bit of fatigue so that the other team may get a better return. Let's see if that Marv Levy well, true as You've been pretty prophetic all so year far. long here, Chuck, so we'll see if you can call this one. All right, the flag marks it back five yards. Here's the kick. This one's better. It's going to hit at about the 10, 15, 20. Spins out of one tackle and is uh, dragged down at about the 14 yard, 24 yard line. Where it'll be first and 10. It's Marquise Weber on the return. Uh, talk about running down on their kick. Look at the wedge boxers they get down there. Great opportunity to get the ball ball carry down inside the 20. 34 makes a really outstanding play for the Seahawks. That was number 34. Number 34, that's uh, Tyreek Harrington. Tyreek Harrington got down there first and ran right through the wedge. That'll hold his spot on the special teams. So C.J. Frazier, the senior, sets him up in the shotgun. Looking to throw on first down. Throws it long. Got a man. Let's see, was he inbounds? We'll see what they call here. He is out of bounds. So, not quite a little, little uh, jump start there on the Walgreens first down. But, <laughs> but it'll be second and 10 instead. I feel like I'm watching Bobby Lane and the Detroit, Tig <laughs> Detroit Lions back in the 60s. Wasn't this that his philosophy? Throw the bomb on the first play of every game, loosen up that secondary? Let's see what happened. Frazier, they line up with a no huddle right over the ball. Uh, give it off to the running back outside the right end. And he's hit at the 33-34. And we'll see what, uh, looks like there may be a beautiful tackle here. Ball's at the 32 yard line. It's gonna be third and about a yard to go. Third down. So third and, uh, third and about two yards to go. Yeah, number 24 makes a great tackle on that. So again, in the shotgun, he's got in the backfield with him. Now he gets some motion. Fakes the handoff. There's the throw to the outside. Got a man. And that's complete to Robinson, Gerald Robinson, the junior. And that'll be up a Walgreens first down. Yeah, he's the left slot. He comes over from the left side in motion. And then he runs out into the flat and they catch the ball. That's what that spread offense tries to do here, Dell. They get four wide receivers. And then the object is, if you're not going to throw the ball down the field, try to get it into the flat where you got the mismatch between a speedy back and a linebacker. And that's what they got on that play. So it'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats from their own 42. Frazier rolls, throws it. Got a man on a comeback to the 50. 48, slips a tackle. And that's uh, Demetrius Smalls, one of those small guys. 
That'll be another Walgreens first down. Number eight for the Seahawks is playing left corner. James Sanders. James Sanders, he's in there for the injured Robbie Aulo, who's out tonight with a, with a sprained ankle. But he got him turned around and was able to make the catch in the flat. So again, they go no huddle. Trying to wear down the defense a little bit. Just love watching this, uh, this offense. You know, the inventor of the offense here is Coach Ken Cribbs. It's, it's a variation of the flex bone run by Paul Johnson, now at Georgia Tech. We got movement, somebody jumped. So there'll be a flag on the play. Tonight's game brought to you by Walgreens. At Walgreens, there's always a way to stay well. And by Salty Dog Cafe. We want you to get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory located at South Beach Marina or on Arrow Road. And you can pick one up anytime on their website, www.saltydog.com. Yeah, and talking to Coach Payne before the game, one of the things he was concerned about were penalties, particularly when they put men in motion, such as their little over-anxious uh, defensive lineman, Kalen Ford, 52, jumped offside. Little different front here. Now that was, that, that was the offensive line all moved at one time, but except for the center. Well, that gives it back to him. Yep. It makes it first and 10 again, rather than first and five. We should, should talk about the uh, this de defense for the Seahawks tonight. 52, Kalen Ford, 66, Jerome Maddox, Michael Ruth, number 45, and Abert Johnson, number 60, is the front, front line. Linebackers, Chris Rein Reinhardt, Scott D'Amico, John Batty, Jeremy Hayden. And in the secondary, Adam Warishak, Jer Jer Jeremiah Madden, and Ben Olaf. So it'll be first and 10 now, once again after the flag. You can see the four wide receivers, two slot and two wide. Pistol steps back, looks over the middle, and man goes down. No flag, I don't believe. So they got their feet tangled up, and it'll be second and 10 coming up. Yeah, he's looking for number 11, Janice, Demetrius Smalls. And Smalls is coming across, and what happens is he gets knocked down by the middle linebacker. We saw it. <laughs> <laughs> The middle linebacker takes a shot as he's taught to do. Is take, don't, let him, don't let a receiver cross in front of you. The middle linebacker takes him down. He did not know the ball was in the air, and neither did the official. Again, now a handoff. Up the middle. Breaking to the outside. That's number 20. That's Tykeem Major. Well, there was two concerns I had for the Bluffton Bobcats coming into this season. One was to find a running back because I felt as though that hurt him in the playoffs last year, not having a, yeah, a strong running back. Yeah. That's going to be dispelled right now by number 20. That's Tykeem Major in, in there. Makes a nice run out of that. And the other thing I was concerned about was their defense. They allowed 42 points against South Point in the championship game last year, and that's the reason why they were not the Division 3A region champion or state champions. Now over the middle, had a man just overthrown a little bit. Intended for Gerald Robinson. That'll bring up second and 10. Yeah, C.J. Fraser makes a nice read. He gets what he wants down the middle and just misfires just a little bit. They line up over the ball again. No huddle offense as we see most pro and college teams today that run the spread offense. They line up in a no huddle. They don't want to give, they want, their objective is, is to run as many offensive plays as they can in a game. So it'll be second and 10 at the 31. No score, just starting the first hit, first quarter. And there's the speed right differential the there. Bonai, Denny Bonai, the running back. And that's going to be another yeah, watch here at the top. He gets down. some great blocks there at the top, too. The, the left tackle, number 60, Pierce yeah, Freeman, makes a beautiful yeah. tackle to block. That's a senior, six foot four, 200 pounds, does a great job, pins down the defensive end. And that's the reason why Vinny Bono had enough room to run for a first down. We also saw number 11, Adam Orshak, the defensive back, come over and he took a bad angle on that one and uh, unfortunately wasn't able to get to him in time to stop it the first It wasn't so down. much a bad angle, Dale, as it was speed. Speed, speed, speed. That's what the, that's what the Bobcats have. And once again, and he spins out of a tackle again. Nike Major. It's going to be a little short of the first down. Adam Warren in short. there for the injured Bobby Oil, number 10. He comes up 
makes a great effort. He was able to catch up to him. Unfortunately, he was, able, he was not able to wrap him up and bring him to the ground. And now it's a second and one. Second and one, the ball at the 10 yard line. 8.34 to go here in the first quarter of play. Oh, that didn't. Yeah, hit the backfield and goes didn't fool anybody. It's Gerald Robinson took it. Great call. This is an all-out blitz. You can see the strong linebacker comes right. The, the uh, strong middle linebacker comes right up the middle. They didn't have enough blockers there. That's one of the. If you're looking for a weakness in the spread offense, that's it in short yardage situation. You just have too many players out wide and not enough inside to pick up the eight or nine man men that they're sending inside. I mean, the reason why the spread offense works is that it spreads you out and you can't get eight men in the box. That's simply why it works. Now, when they go into a short yarder situation, the other team just comes and runs a blitz. Third and six, there's a handoff the outside. He's got the corner, got the first down, and just short of the goal line, where it'll be another Walgreens first and goal. Well, that's number 10, Marquise Weber. He's for real, watch the speed he's got there. This is, this is Great speed and beautiful yeah, move. I mean, you, you can't, you got to feel a little bit sorry for the defensive coordinator for the Seahawks, Hilton Head High. I mean, they've got them smoked out. Just they're being out athleticized on the corner. Frazier now alone in the backfield. Takes it himself right up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bobcats. Touchdown, CJ Frazier. This is like a wildcat. He fakes, he, Frazier stays in there. And now we gotta watch for the two, for the possible two point conversion as we've seen bluffed in earlier this year. They're not afraid to go for two right away. Okay, but now they're gonna line up ostensibly to kick the extra point. We've seen them fake this too. Nelly Strauss is the kicker. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and the kick is good. 7.43 to go here in the first quarter of play. It's seven to nothing in favor of the Bobcats. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. People say I catch everything. It's true, because I have time on the cable video and internet. I can watch thousands of on-demand movies and all my favorite shows anytime, anywhere. On my smartphone, on my tablet, super fast on my laptop, and my 60-inch LCD. Uh-oh. Whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable invents better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Welcome back to Bluffton, South Carolina at the annual Bridge Bowl here where the Bobcats have taken a 7-0 lead here in the first quarter of play. And I'm Dale Planica, Chuck Zapek alongside, and the Bobcats kick off. Ball goes down to close to the goal line, 10-15, and across the 20 to about the 22, and that'll be it. And that's where the Seahawks will put the, put the ball in play to start their first offensive series. Yes. It's a middle return, well covered by the Bluffton Bobcats. They get down in a hurry. So some of those second, uh, well, it looks like they ran their, their their defense down on that. That was first teamers running down on that one. <laughs> no second team special team guys on that on that kickoff coverage. On the field comes out the Seahawks from Hilton Head High School. Well, Michael Julian, the all everything quarterback. Julian 6'4. And we got it off already a, a flag. We already had a number of flags in this ball game. Four or five, I think course means that we've got some referees out there. These are not replacement refs either, are they, Chuck? <laughs> we got the real refs. The referee with the white cap Mark is Terry Wright, 31 years in the business from Brunson, South Carolina. He says tonight's the biggest game he's ever officiated. It'll be first and five now for the Seahawks. Julian goes back, throws it outside. Oh, dropped. Well, that's James Sanders is one of his favorite receivers. Yeah, it he is. Just too. Couldn't hold on. That was one of the questions I had in my mind tonight. 
is whether or not Sanders could have a bigger game as he's had in the past. Again, they run with a no huddle offense. It'll be second and five. It's time the handoff right up the middle. Picks up about three on the play. It'll be third and two coming up. Yeah, the, the Bobcats have an experienced secondary. They have three seniors starting for them back there, Dale. And um, by doing so, you know, they have some guys that go into the state championship game last year. So that's going to be a pretty good talented pool of players to play against. Third and two. Julian rushed. Gets it away. Caught. That's Orishak with the catch. And he gets it across the 45 to the 46. We got a late flag. Looks like maybe somebody grabbed a face mask. We'll check it out. Yeah, great call by Steve Fuller, the offensive coordinator, to get Julian out of the pocket, away from the rush. Gives him an opportunity to set up and has him throw in the direction that he's running. He gets his legs underneath that arm, and all of a sudden, that arm gets not only speed, but also accuracy it gains. And there'll be a... Uh, Maybe he pulled his helmet from behind it like a horse collar uh, a penalty tacked onto this. Tonight's game brought to you by Lava Fitness. Stop in today for a free class or training session. Relax and burn the calories in their sauna or enjoy time away from your children with their free child care. Lava 24 Fitness, reach your peak. Yeah, we're not having much time to do anything. <laughs> Call about the officials or talk about our sponsors. Both teams running a no huddle offense. They get up over the ball and they want to run that run that ball as quickly as possible. Cleo Lewis in the backfield. Oh, bad snap. Julian just got a fall on it. Wow. That's, that's a big hurt. Uh, it's, it's a huge hurt. What they did this time is that Bluffton lined up and covered everybody. And, and the, the center for the Seahawks got a little nervous there. That's Brooks Jenkins, number 56. I'm sure that's what he wanted to be called out for. But he's a six foot four, 250 pound senior. Second in a lot. This time Julian keeps it. Works his way through across the 40 to the 45. Still on his feet. Gets it to the 46 before he's finally gang tackled at, at that point. So it'll be third down and a little more manageable. This has been the biggest improvement in Michael Julian this year is his running ability. And he's taken advantage of his athleticism and, and size to be able to run the football. Now he's got a makeable third and 16 for a first down rather than 25 yards for a first down. Third down coming up. Scott D'Amico comes in the lineup. He's probably inserted in there to be a blocking back to pick up the help out on protection. Yeah, straight drop back. Julian, pressure, throws it, got a man at the 50, and knocked out the 48, and that's Orishak. It's the 48, it's gonna be fourth and 10, fourth and nine coming up. Jeremy Scott makes a nice open field tackle. Orishak catches the pass on a crossing route. He had five receivers, uh, five defenders around him. Gets what he can out of the play. So it'll be fourth down. And uh, of course, Julian is also the punter. They're gonna, they, they could go for it. Or he could do like one of those Julian little Julian leaves the area in punting, 49 yard average on five he Backs punts. up a little bit now. He might kick it still. He will kick it. And it bounces at the 10, inside the 10 to the five, rolls dead at the four yard line. So that only on the play though. Kick will be down at the four yard line. Oh, let's see what the check. Let's check out the flag. Uh, they're going to say mo. They're going to say motion against uh, Hilton Head. And I'm going to believe they're going to help them replay this down. We'll check it out. In the meantime, let me remind you that tonight's game is brought to you by Time Warner Cable. Catch all the action this season with Time Warner Cable TV, internet, and phone. Whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable provides better ways to share it, get lost in it, and enjoy it even more. Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. Well, this is an important facet of the game for the Hilton Head High, High football team where they stumbled early in the year in the kicking game against Whale Branch. It cost them the game. And now against Bluffton, an error, two errors, or second error in the kicking game. And this brings it back being off sides. I mean, it's not so much losing five yards, but now you're definitely going to be sending a receiver back, and they do. Bluffton sends one back back where before they were looking for a possible fake and didn't send anybody back. It's the kickoff. This one's going to hit at about the 
15 and go out of bounds at about the 12 yard line. I'll mark it at the 14. Well, it was only a five yard penalty. The ball was originally at the four yard line. Now it's at the 14. That ends up in the 10 yard net on that mistake. Big difference from starting at the 14 and the four, Dale. Chuck, I'm looking for an accountant uh, in my office. So, uh, <laughs> what are you doing in the next couple of years, huh? <laughs> All right, good math. All right, I like that arithmetic. So it'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats. Again, C.J. Frazier leads them out. They get up over the ball in a hurry. They come right off the sidelines and they're ready to run a play. You know, the question always comes, how do you defense this? And the Seahawks are playing a 4-2-5. You can see that there's only three men in the box right there. And that's when you really want to run the ball is when they have that few people in there. Here's a wheel oh, route. Wheel. And he's got it. That's, that's number eight, Vinny Bonney. Vinny Bonney with the catch. This is right out of the Boston Boston Patriots playbook. They start with a inside receiver, give him the wide side of the field to run into, use his speed to get in there. It's like Wes Welker running down the field, catching the ball. Nice call by Coach Ken Cribbs. Another Walgreens first down. Opened up the field and put his fastest man in there to catch the ball. C.J. Frazier delivered. Frazier again in the, that pistol formation, the man directly behind him, and a man in motion. And we got a handoff and drag down is number three. That's Robinson. And that, uh, they were there for that one. He couldn't break that tackle. Good job. You know, 32, D'Amico. Scott D'Amico. Scott makes a, a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. He came on a blitz, fought off one blocker, kept his feet, and his balance, a lot of a lot of strength, and just a lot of a lot of athleticism to come in there and make a nice tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Second and thirteen. Frazier looking, going long downfield. He's got a man, and it is oh, incomplete. We got a flag. And the uh, C.J. Payne is out on the field to talk this one over with the referee, but. Unfortunately, it's going to fall on deaf ears. Uh, he's going to get him for face garden. Yeah. I think he had him right by the face guard. Yeah. It's a face garden call. And B.J. Payne is going to be upset about that. He's looking at it from the backside. I don't think he saw his hand go up in the, in the receiver's face at the last minute there. you got to be able to turn back at the ball. You just can't go and put your hand in front of the guy's eyes. That's called face guarding. So I, it's a 15-yard penalty. That'll take it out to the 44-yard line where it'll be first and 10, call it the 45. That's first a tough call. That's a, that's a tough call. You don't, wanna, you don't want your guys to get, get slowed down here. You know, with all the speed on, on Bluffton's squad so far, Hilton has been able to stay with them. I know they had the long drive, but it, you know nobody broke away for any 60-yard uh, any run against them. Frazier again, keeps it up the middle, slides down, Frazier on the keeper. slides down to the 45, and that'll be another Walgreens first down. Uh, he runs the read draw perfectly out of the spread, spread, spread formation. Nice job. Read option. Got a, a favorable mark there because he slid down and uh, should have been marked back about a yard, but. First you know, and 10 for the Bobcats. When yeah. Coach Cribs came here three years ago, he wasn't running this, uh, he was running a flex bone, it was called, where the quarterback lined up under the center. Now he's moved them back two years later into a what's called a pistol formation with the running backs behind the quarterback, puts them in position to throw the ball. Going long for Smalls and it's a little bit too far. Second down coming up. Oh, this is what you need is a shut down corner. And that's what you got, hopefully, on that side. <laughs> Just missed him. So it'll be second and 10. 2.58 to go first quarter. 7 to nothing in favor of the Bobcats over the Seahawks. See, the, if you look there now, you'll see there's four down linemen. And as they spread out, well, they got, they were expecting a run on down in distance, and they got it. And the they ball didn't, it. that's why it didn't go anywhere. You still had eight men in the they box. Four yards, though. It'll be third and six coming up. Hey, tonight's game is brought to you by Gola's Family Jewelers. Tonight's 
2012 Bridge Bowl is presented by the Golas Family Jewelers and the store next door. Shop for all the best holiday season hostess gifts at the store next door. Golas, an industry name you can trust. Okay, a little pitch out. And they got the speed on the outside and going to be just short of the first down. That's Hold on, we carry around the number five. Now look at the and blocks at the top there. At the left tackle position, number 60, Pierce Freeman and Yurko Castillo, number 69, is out there leading the way. Nice play. It'll be fourth down coming up and about a yard to go. So this is a big play in the game. See if the defense can hold for the for the Seahawks. Let's see if they go with some kind of power formation. Yeah, they are. There they are. In a, in almost quarterbacks under. It's going to be under the center. Oh no, he's back in the backfield, and they just run straight ahead. That's not the quarterback. Wow. <laughs> That's 23. That's KJ4, the defensive tackle. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, he gets a good snap. And off you go. Yeah, they run a wedge down. right up the middle. A little bit of single wing football there, Dale. <laughs> that's a Walgreens first down. The ball now resting at the 32 and a half yard line. 128 and counting here in the first quarter of play. Frazier now, more conventionally in the pistols formation. Takes it, we got a flag. Oh, we got timeout. timeout There's a timeout on the field. It's 7 0 in favor of the Bobcats. We're going to take it with them. You're watching the high school football zone. WHHI Sports TV. Oh, Salvador. Oh, Salvador. You're sly as a fox, Salvador. Captain Cherokee sitting in a tree, a kiwi waving back at me. But it won't you be the Salvador. Oh, Salvador. Oh, Salvador. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. We are back here in beautiful Bluffton, South Carolina for the 2012 annual Bridge Bowl. I think this is the third year of the Bridge Bowl. I think it was 2010 was when it was started. There's a we saw earlier a trophy, the trophy, the initial trophy was huge. <laughs> but this is a little more Heisman-like trophy. Good timeout called by B.J. Payne to give his defense a little bit of rest. This is an important series to stay in the game. Frazier drops back, throws it. Oh, man, wide open, and he couldn't hold on. Oh, my. You're not going to see that very often. Right through the hands of Vinnie Boni. Bono runs a streak pattern right down the middle. He's covered by a linebacker, and that's the reason why he's able to get that kind of separation. The owner of a red BMW. That was Jeremy Hayden trying to, was trailing him, trying to cover him. Hayden's a pretty tough guy, but I don't think he has the same speed as Vinny Bono. Well, he had a little pregame uh, injury, too, so he may be slowed a little bit tonight. We're not yeah, sure. somebody, I wonder if they saw that up in the, in the box here. Hayden did get hurt in the pregame uh, warm-ups. It's a snap. Now he's looking to the outside, kind of a bubble screen. Smalls has got it. He's to the 20, shakes a tackle, 15, 10, 5, goal line. Demetrius Smalls goes 33 yards for the touchdown, a little bubble screen. Gets a couple good blocks here, it's well executed. Set up beautifully, makes a couple good moves, makes make some people miss is able to turn on the Jets, and that's what we were concerned about coming into tonight's game was the speed of Bluffton, whether or not the secondary 
forward to Hilton Head High could keep up with that speed. So the extra point trial will be coming here with less than a minute to go here in the first quarter of play. That's disappointing for Hilton Head. They didn't want to go down two touchdowns in the first quarter. Snap, spot, kick, and the kick is good. We got 55 seconds to go here in the first quarter. It's 14 to nothing in favor of the Bobcats you're watching. High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. H&H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H&H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H&H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H&H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H&H Auto. Bobcats lead it 14 to nothing. A 33 yard touchdown pass from Frazier to Smalls on the bubble screen and uh, Smalls did most of the work on that one. Well, you know, it's, it, that's, well, I'll talk about that in a second. They'll have this kick Here's the kick into the end zone and that'll come out automatically to the 20. You know, th this, this is a pretty, not only is it a big game, a big rivalry game, but this is probably the biggest crowd these kids have seen here. Uh, or at a high school football game in a couple of years. They used to have crowds as big at Hilton Head High, but they haven't been that big in the last two or three years. So you've got a bunch of kids that are probably a little bit in awe as you drove up to the stadium today. It had almost like a college feel to it with all, all the tailgating was going on and um, just a lot of uh, activities and festivities going on. And they get into here, a big stadium, a lot of noise, and you're almost in awe. And, you know, you're in you're, you're into the second quarter before you finally settle down and that's what I think's happened here a bit is that uh, you know they look up and all of a sudden you're down 14 nothing what happened they only got all they had is one opportunity so far to move the ball yeah, well he had a flag they had too many guys out there in the field and I don't know that they never had a huddle so I guess it couldn't break the huddle with too many men but it's going to cost them five yards regardless it'll be First and 15 now. Ball back at the 15 yard line. Well, while we can, let's set that offensive line for the Seahawks. 56, Brooks Jenkins is the center. Left guard, Brian Purdue, number 73. Rain Foss, number 50, is the left tackle. The right guard for a nice game is Lucas Castillo. And Logan Boward is the, is the right tackle. Shotgun, pitch. Looking for some running room. Not going to find it. That's gets maybe a yard, and that'll be it. And that's, uh, I believe, number, I think it was Adam Horashak on that carry. <laughs> so it'll be second down and 15. First quarter uh, running out here with 30 seconds to go. We'll get you got to get Khalil Lewis going here, number, thir number 24 to junior. Got to get some touches here. Well, we saw him have a great game. A couple of weeks ago, way back, throwing deep down the field, got a man, and it's almost intercepted but dropped. Uh, having his hands on it was number 24, Anthony Smith, but he couldn't hold on. A couple of receivers and plenty of defenders all in the same area. Well, Julian really puts this up for grab. There's two receivers and two defenders, so I guess he thought he had an even chance. <laughs> And you don't want to turn the ball over this early if you can help it. So it'll be third and 15 coming up. 13 seconds to go here in the first quarter of play. Julian talking to his running back, trying to get him squared away. And now they check with the sidelines, get the play call in. Yep, we got guys coming off the field. This must be on. The referee's kind of holding it up here. He had an equipment issue, I think. 15 does put goes in at right defensive end. I couldn't believe it when they, they gave me that right defensive end number 15. He's Lewis not down. big enough. Lewis shifts over to the left side. Uh, misses the on-running rusher and heaving it out of bounds. Incomplete. Watch the stunt they run on it on here. They run a 
Defensive line comes well. He doesn't get picked up. They got, yeah, he got him covered. He never had a chance to uh, get rid of the ball. He, he moved Lewis to that side to pick up the the, uh, the blitzer, and Lewis looked inside instead of outside. But at any rate, it's fourth down coming up. Well, I think I, it was like me. He got fooled. When they moved number 15 into the defensive end spot, you look at him thinking, oh, he must be the linebacker. That's Herbert Days. He's a... Free safety, six feet, 170 pounds as a defensive end. Well, he got speed. Speed makes up for a lot. Fourth and 15. Oh, oh, we got a man coming across. It's going to be fourth and 10, I believe. We'll check with the our permanent officials as opposed to our interim officials as they have in the NFL. So it'll be fourth and ten. Now. This is interesting. They put they just switched in four off offensive linemen. Wow. Julian. Got it. Gets it away. It Ball goes out of bounds on the 38-yard line. That's where the Bobcats will put it in play. That's the end of the first quarter of play. Bobcats lead it 14 to nothing over the Seahawks. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. It's tough to come this far and lose. It hurts. But you are defined in life by the way you respond to defeat. That pit in your stomach, fill it with fire. Next season starts right now. Remember this hurt. Think about it when you want to sleep in in the morning. Think about it when you want to shut it down instead of doing an extra set. Promise yourself that you will never, ever feel like this again. You promise yourself that you will come back untouchable. <laughs> Welcome back to the 2012 Bridge Bowl here in Bluffton, South Carolina. The Bobcats with a 14 0 lead, and they have the ball. And the ball is resting rather comfortably at the 38 yard line of the Seahawks. So the Bobcats have a short field to work with after that punt that went out of bounds. And they already lead it by two touchdowns. Hold on. Will end around. Now he's going to throw it. Got a man. Just can't get it. That was number 10, Marquise Weber, who made that throw on the end around. Who knew Marquise Weber was left handed and he pitched the ball to him? He comes up, throws the ball downfield. Robertson started over from his left slot back position, runs all the way across the field. The defender, we didn't get his number, did a great job staying with him. There we are in the sidelines drawing up for the defense right now. What they're trying to do offensively. The Bobcats were. So it'll be second and ten. It's a good time to try that right after turn right after change of possession. Sure. Quarter and everything. And oh, that's not gonna work. That, it doesn't to see oh no, that's a that's that's a false count. They did that to see if they were in man-to-man -man coverage, and they got what they wanted, and they ran the ball up the middle. But they took too much time to do it, so it's going to cost them five yards. Now, you cannot have too many two people in motion. If you're a Canadian, you can. Yeah, but they had <laughs> twice, and they didn't call it right away. You, they had two guys shifting. Or was it a shift? Maybe they're thinking it's a shift. I'd like to see the replay of that and get the official interpretation. What they're trying to do, as you saw, the linebackers for Hilton Head were crossing behind behind a defensive line. And what that does is a false read. What they do is they run certain things prior to the snap of the ball just to see what kind of defense they're in, whether they're in man-to-man -man or zone. They caught them in man-to-man. -man. 
Yep. And he got looking, what he wanted again. Got a man at the sidelines. He's got it complete. Bonai's got it. And the ball's at the 33. It'll be. Oh, he's just well set up. I mean, you, you bring an inside, the inside slot from the right side. You run him all the way across the field. And he's running against a linebacker, D'Amico. And there's just, you know, there's just too much space. And he does, there's not enough pressure on the quarterback. He gets enough time to throw. And he's able to pick him, pick, pick him apart. Okay, they bring in five, four more new guys on offense. And run up oh, right over the ball. Uh, Notice oh, the Wildcat. They, they got the big man in there, K.J. Ford. Uh, they didn't get enough guys out on the field. And now we got all kinds of timeout. timeout Coach Cribbs is not going to be happy with that. But it's going to give us a chance to take a timeout on the field. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. Welcome back to Bluffton. Bobcats have a third and five at the Seahawks 33 yard line. Coach Cribb got his point across during that timeout. And let's see how the Bobcats respond. They're still changing players in and out. Yeah, Robinson can't, comes in the game late. But there they are back in their pistol formation. Pitch to the outside. Got the corner if he can get by, but he can't. Gets to the 30. It'll be fourth and about two. Let's see what they do. Great job by the Seahawks defense this time. And nice running by number 34 to break, break through and get the initial contact. That's Tyreek Harrington for the defense there. That defense is led by Kalen Ford, number 52. Jerome Maddox, number 66, Michael Roth, 45, and Abrick Johnson, number 60, up front for the Seahawks tonight. Another big play for the Seahawks defense here as it's fourth and two at their 30. Oh, we, got, we should have two men moving. There, that, that ball comes loose, and it's going backwards now. That was uh, going to be a Coach backwards Payne, pass. Let's Coach see what they Payne do jumps out on the field after this, and this is a turnover on downs. This is a huge play because he gets a rush from the backside, and that's why the ball flutters into the air. They made a right call. They brought on 34 who makes a great hit from behind. They called it an incomplete pass, which is a little strange there because that was going backwards, and he was throwing it back. He was intended to throw it. It could have been a ladder on a fumble and picked it up and run with it. That would have changed things around in a hurry. But great job that time for the Seahawks by number 34. That's Harrington. Harrington. So the Seahawks now take over on uh, as a defensive holds. First and 10 at their own 30. Snap, rolling, looking, throwing. Nobody there. Somebody broke off the route and it'll be second down coming up. Kind of threw that in uh, desperation, I believe. He was being pressured. Well, you don't want to throw that up. You want to throw that out. Yeah. <laughs> out of bounds. As we talked about, that Bluffton defense has a couple of seniors back there, actually four seniors and guys that played in the state championship game last year. Khalil Mitchell, number two. John Tritola, number seven. Jeremy Scott, number one. This time he keeps it. Gets maybe a yard, that's it. So Julian only gets about a yard. It'll be third down coming up. It's the read option out of the spread formation. Tonight's game brought to you by Time Warner Cable. Catch all the action this season with Time Warner Cable TV, internet, and phone. Wherever, whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable provides better ways to share it, get lost in it, and enjoy it even more. Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. Julian, 
made the play in. It's not going to be able to do it, so it's going to be a timeout here. 9.48 to go in the second quarter. The Seahawks take timeout. They trail it 14 0. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. Collins Pest Control has been serving the Low Country for almost 13 years. Staff with trained professionals in the industry, we offer monthly and quarterly pest control services. Need a CL100 for a real estate closing or a termite pretreat for new construction? Call Collins Pest Control today. We are a family owned business and we are dedicated to providing quality service to our valued customers. Let our family help your family. Call us today at 524-5544 for a free estimate. The folks here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram are piling on the savings with a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country and hitting the road in comfort. With a spacious interior, you can take the whole crew on your next adventure. Where'd everybody go? Come test drive one today at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram at the new River Auto Mall. We're located on Highway 278, Exit 8 at I-95 or online at HiltonHeadCJD.com. We have it all at the new River Auto Mall. Golas Family Jewelers is a family-owned business that you've trusted as we've serviced our community for over 15 years. Golas is now inviting you to visit us at the store next door. The store next door is an eclectic collection of unique fashions and gifts. We offer Bravo bags, chameleon sterling silver jewelry, laurel birch accessories, and Keir jewelry. I'm Chris Golas and we want to thank you for your continued business and invite you to come see us at the store next door. Golas, an industry name you can trust. We are back here. The 2012 Bridge Bowl being held here in Bluffton. The Seahawks facing a third and ten play. Their own 30 yard line. The defense just held on fourth down and looking for the offense give them a little break on the sidelines. We'll see if they can get a first down. Julian back, throws a little screen in the middle, and ooh, huge play by number six, Jaquan Campbell, the outside linebacker. He smelled that one out. Yeah, Jaquan Campbell, one of our top returning starters, leader on the defense, comes in and is able to smoke it out and make the tackle. Jaquan is a senior, six feet, 185 pounds. So the Seahawks will uh, now have to punt it away. Julian stands inside his 20. Snap, there's a kick. Good kick. The 31, 35. Outside, got a flag down, 40, 45, 50. He could go, he's got one man to beat. Not gonna beat him. But we get a flag all the way back at the 34-yard line, and I think this will be coming back. Yeah, it's a, you'll see it right here at the top of your screen. There's the block in the back coming right there. It's a push, and that's a good call by the official. He's got to call that. Even though it wasn't much, it certainly did prevent the would-be tackler from making his, his duly assigned assignment, which was bring the ball carrier down. Right. So this will march them back to uh, inside the 30-yard line. Tonight's game brought to you by New River Auto Mall. They have it all at the New River Auto Mall. Over 1,000 vehicles and 12 dealerships, all in one location at New River Auto Mall. And Chuck, you know, it's time to get those flu shots. We've got to get over to Walgreens, because Walgreens, there's always a way to stay well at Walgreens. I'm going to go there and get my flu shot probably next week. You don't get flu shots? You don't yeah, get I get flu shots, yeah. I'm I get a lollipop too after the shot, don't I, Dale? <laughs> I have a foul. The wallet up here at the box. You lost your wallet. You drive away. So forth with you. Come up and identify it for me. I will be glad to get to you. Ball's at the 25 yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats. They lead it by two touchdowns. Now we got another halfback pass. Downfield. Got a man. Makes one man, makes both men miss. He could go. This could be 75 yards for the score. Robinson now cuts back the other way and just short of the goal line. Wow. Two guys with the left-handed throw. 
That's Vinny Bonney to Robinson. Robinson makes a great move there. A little shake and bake. Puts a little glide in the stride here, and then he tries to change direction. Good hustle by the Seahawk, by, by the Seahawk defense to get downfield and be able to stop it from going in for a touchdown. Yep. So it goes for 70, 69 yards at the six yard line, where it'll be first and goal, Walgreens first down. Frazier now. First and goal on the six. Checks with the play call from the side. Looks, throws a little floater up there, and it's caught for the touchdown by Marquise Weber. Just threw it up and let Marquise go up and get it. This looked like a Mickelson wet shack. That's about as well thrown as a ball as you want out of a quarterback. Putting the ball on the outside shoulder and putting air on it underneath it gives the receiver Weber to use a six foot three, 195 pound frame the cradle on the ball in the far corner of the end zone. Great pass by C.J. Fraser. Yeah, what we got? I don't know what that we means. had the touchdown signal by Terry Wright, the okay. referee. <laughs> no, oh, there must have been a penalty on the play. Yeah, there was. They, they, they obviously declined it. it. Get a chance here. They run the plays so fast, we don't get a chance to talk about the officials. The umpire for tonight's game is Mitchell Horney. We've had Mitchell before. Oh, there's a play, Gail. Dale. Yep. Did he get it? Uh, yeah, it's good. Well, yes, the two-point conversion is good. Bonnie went down. I'm not sure that he really got it, but it's two points no matter what. We've got 8.08 to go here in the second quarter. It's 22 to nothing in favor of the Bobcats. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. Do you need to sell a home? Or are you looking to purchase a new one? Hi, I'm Rhonda Merrick with Ballinger Realty of Beaufort, South Carolina. I've been serving the low country for six years, and I want to help you with any of your real estate needs. I'll assist with finding the right loan and lender, and I will help you with every detail before closing. Whether you're a first time home buyer, military personnel, or retiring to Beaufort, together we can find the perfect match to fit your lifestyle and your budget. For real estate on the move, call Rhonda Merrick. That's not an air raid siren. Well, maybe it is, but you don't have to run tuck for cover here. That's just a 22 to nothing uh, score for the Bobcats here. We're back here in Bluffton. 8.08 to go here in the second quarter. And Dale, there, that's, there's the penalty being marked off on the kickoff that you spot it on the, on the extra point try. Yeah, that roughing the kicker, roughing the passer on the touchdown. And the kick comes down about the seven. Fumble! And recovered. It's gonna belong to the Bobcats. Get gets on it. Another good play. Number 44 made the uh, recovery there. Rogan Ferguson, I believe. It's a short kick. They, it's a well-placed coffin corner kick from the 45-yard line. Only traveled about 40 yards. Number two, Johnny Dillon, the senior, was sent back there to feel the ball. Unfortunately, he started the run before he had it. Fumbled the ball, and, Buf and Bluffton jumped right on top of it. Marquette, first and 10 from the Seahawks, 12-yard line. Oh, we got a flag. Coach Payne is on the field. He just got flagged for something. Well, you know, he's upset. Well, now we can talk about the officials since they're on the <laughs> screen. Mitchell Horney is the umpire, 22 years out of uh, the officiating out of Gifford, South Carolina. The back judge is Johnny Shuck from Charleston, 31 years as an official. God, these guys might be in the NFL before long. <laughs> Seth Owens, six years out of Vaughnville, South Both Carolina. Line. And Dennis Thompson from Vaughnville, South Carolina is 27th year as linesman in high school football. Wow. 
You add all those numbers together, Chuck, that's about your age, I think. 31, 22. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 22 is closer to your age. <laughs> well, whatever it was, the referees have picked up the flag. They, they, they had a conversation with Coach Payne. Now they're going to have a co conversation with Coach Cribb and explain to him what was going on. It's, you know, we all got to communicate better. That's all we got to do here. <laughs> well... Yep. Lufton has certainly shown their explosiveness and be able to get the ball to, to their speedy backs. And a little bit of trickery here with two reverse passes to two left, two different left-handed wide receivers who could throw the ball down the field. Who knew? Who knew they had a left-handed football on this team? I mean, that's the hard part. It's probably the left-handed football. They had the same problem with golf. Oh, they got another flag. Well, uh, while well, we got a chance here, Chuck, let me tell you that tonight's game is brought to you by Salty Dog Cafe, who also brings us our instant replays. Get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory located at South Beach Marina and on Arrow Road. And you can pick one up anytime at their website, www.saltydog.com. Well, they stuck, blew the whistle there offsides against Hilton Head High. Good thing, though, they were running the speed sweep, and it was there. Yeah. They put First the right nine. wing back in motion. He caught the ball in full stride, and he had a couple, a bevy of, of, lineback, or of linemen in front of him. So it'll be first and five from the seven-yard line. Oh, Frazier looks around. No one to hand it off to. Get another flag in the backfield. Frazier taking down the backfield. And uh, he's dropped for a loss. And the flag. Tonight's the game. I want to remind you that stay tuned at the halftime for the New River Auto Mall halftime show. Chuck and the cheerleaders from both schools will be here, along with uh, the drive of the week from the New River Auto Mall. And we'll pick that up. And, and, and again, our usual feature at the conclusion of tonight's game, we'll have the Dick Sporting Goods untouchable moments of the game. So we'll want to stay tuned for that as well. It'll be second and 10 now. We'll get back the five yards. Referees getting a lot of a lot of camera time here tonight. A lot of face they? time for the referees. Yeah. There's the play they were trying to run the first time. And this time gets to the, the 10. That'll be uh, third down coming up. Some good popping inside. Number 60, the left tackle leads the way, turns his man inside. That's Abert Johnson. 6'4, 270 pounds, doing his job. Be third and about eight yards to go from the 10 yard line. Once again, the Seahawk defense being called upon to put on a stop. Frazier rolls out, looks across the middle. It is almost intercepted and incomplete. Good play by Adam Orishak. As Robinson had his hands on it and Orishak ripped it out at the last moment. Nice play by Orishak, number 11. He's able to do just as you described. The senior, six feet, 190 pounds. I stand corrected on that last play. I looked at the wrong 60 for the wrong team on that. I got it mixed up there. So fourth down. Number 60, the left offensive tackle. Four, Lufton is Pierce Freeman. They're going to go for it. Again, here's the little pass in the corner of the end zone. And again, it's complete. It's number 15. Oh, check it. Number 10, Marquise Weber again. This time a 10 yard touchdown pass. So, Seahawks now in a, in a, a big hole here, 28 to nothing with the extra point try coming. Oh, they're gonna roll out, they're gonna fake it, and they got it. So it's 30 to nothing. They like to go for that two points, don't they? 6.53 to go here in the first half of play. 30 to nothing in favor of the Bobcats. You're watching the High School Football Zone. On WHHI Sports TV. As a family, we've been trying to save energy every day. It keeps our electric bill down, and it's kind of fun. That little bit here and there helps us do things we might not be able to afford as easily, like enjoy an extra day on our vacation. 
Find out how your Touchstone Energy Cooperative can help you save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. We are Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your Touchstone Energy Partner. Well, we got the air rate siren going, and that means another touchdown for the Bobcats. 30 to nothing. And a 10 yard pass to Weber from Frazier. There's a kickoff out to the 20, and that'll be it. Where it's number. We're going to watch a replay here of the touchdown, Dale. CJ Frazier lofts the ball out to the outside shoulder. Just the way they coach it and draw it up on the truck ball board. Yep. You only need one foot in, in high school and college, so. That's good for the touchdown. And we'll see if the uh, Seahawks can get something going here. I don't like their body language right now, Chuck. Kind of slow getting out of the huddles. and They need a spark. Snap. The pass is incomplete. A little bit high and well covered. Hey, tonight's game is brought to you by Lava Fitness. Stop in today for a free class or training session. You can relax and burn calories in their sauna where you can see Tony Verga and enjoy time away from your children with their free child care at Lava Fitness. Lava 24 Fitness, reach your peak. There's a handoff. Here's Lewis. I haven't called his number all night. He gets uh, about three or four. His helmet comes off. Yeah, Rogan Ferguson, six feet, 215 pounds, comes over, uses a lot of speed, and makes a great smack on Khalil Lewis. Lewis is a tough character, though. He can take that hit. Third and seven. That's the guy they need to get going. If they can find, somehow find a way to get Khalil Lewis, give him the ball, get him some touches. I think it'll make a difference for him. Looking down the line here. Snap. Throws it to the outside. And unable to hold on. And I think he heard some footsteps there. Well, he did have to hear it. This pass. Anthony Smith comes in, number 24. He's the strong safety. He makes a hit on him. Sanders just uh, couldn't hold on. So it'll be fourth down coming up. And the putting team will be coming out. I want you to stay tuned after the conclusion of tonight's game for the Lava 24 Fitness MVP Award. That'll be presented following tonight's game to the mm. player chosen by our staff here. Well, they're trying to get lined up for the punt here. This is, I mean, Timeout, Seahawks. The Seahawks had to burn a timeout here on a punt. Not a good thing. We got a timeout on the field. We're going to take it with them. You're watching the high school football zone. WHHI Sports TV. At 123 Drive Driving Academy, the goal is to help students become confident, cautious, and courteous drivers. They offer high-quality classroom and behind-the-wheel training with friendly, professional, and state-certified instructors who make learning easy and safe. Go to 123drivedrivingacademy.com for more information or call 263-5023 and mention the Friday Night Football Zone to receive $10 off your training session. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, call 123 Drive Driving Academy. We're back here at Bluffton. I'm Dale Planica, Chuck Zapek alongside, and uh, Bluffton has jumped out to a 30 to nothing lead here in the first half. And uh, the Seahawks getting ready to punt once again, unable to sustain any offense thus far. Well, they get a get to a flag here. They all shift a little bit. Let's see what this flag is going to be called. Somebody did come across the line, so it could be against the defense. And it is against the defense. So they get five free ones. Now they may go for this, Chuck. They yeah. have to lose. 
Yeah, what they did is they went into a shift. So Let's see if they gamble for it. Fourth and short. Spread them out. Yeah, they got the Miko in the backfield. Looks like they're going to go hit with their wild, with their version of the Wildcat. Yep. I guess B.J. Payne figures if Ken Cribs can do it, he can do it too. And he gets it across the 30, and that'll be enough for yeah, the got it. Seahawks. Walgreens first down. I like that call. I like it. Yeah, I mean, you got to get, you know, got to get a little momentum here, and that's that's a good way to get some momentum going. D'Amico's a good call, steady ball handler, makes runs up straight, straight, straight up field. Got your bigs in front of him, leading the way. Ball's the 33, first and 10. Again, again, late getting guys on the field. Well, Orshad comes in, yeah. in the slot. Now he shifts to the other slot. Good snap. There's the handoff. There's Lewis. Tries to cut it back inside and only picks up about a yard. That'll be it. I remind you that uh, the, at the conclusion of tonight's game, the Golos Family Jewelers 2012 Bridge Bowl Trophy will be presented. The Golos Family Jewelers is one of our many sponsors here tonight. Again, the handoff to Lewis gets it across the 35 to the 36. Golos Family Juniors. Shop for all the best holiday season hostess gifts at the store next door, which is part of Golos Family Jewelers. Golos, an industry name that you can trust. If you want to stick around for the presentation of the trophy presented by Golos Family Jewelers. Third and six. Good snap going long downfield. Defense is there, takes it away. Coming back the other way, 50, 40, 30, coming right at you. And into the end zone, that's number 24. Anthony Smith, the senior, takes it all the way. And a uh, little, little talk there afterwards. Let's see if we, looks like we're coming back. Yeah, we got a block in the back, I think at around the 50. Oh, we got a hidden flag down right by midfield. So no touchdown. And a block in the back at the 50. So that'll bring it back. But the ball will belong to the Bobcats. Oh, got to tie his shoe in, pick up the flag. No wasted motion there. <laughs> well, Chuck, I got Notre Dame, Michigan this week. What do you got? Penn State, what do you got? Temple. Temple, all okay. right. Battle of Philadelphia there. Yeah. Liberty Bell's at stake. <laughs> all right, ball is spotted at the 40 yard line, first and 10. Let's see if they come with a big play here right off the turnover. CJ, the loud pattern. And it's going to be enough for Walgreens first down across midfield. Knocked out of bounds at about the, let's see where they mark it, about the 48 of the Seahawks. First and 10. A Walgreens first down. Frazier's pretty accurate. Coming into tonight's game. There's the handoff. Going outside. Speed. Orshak trying to catch him. He gets blocked. Finally knocked out of bounds. At a, inside the 10 yard line. It's Harrington that comes all the way down and makes the knockout at the about the three or about the four-yard line. Well, Weber already has two touchdowns tonight. Coming in tonight's game, he had six, nearly a third there. He's getting a little chippy out there on the field, too, as uh, yeah. number 55 with the Bobcats getting one of the coaches is talking to him. He averages 19 yards a, a catch. Now he averages about 30 yards a carry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a flag. 
Yeah, but we got a lot, of, a lot of laundry out there. Hey, tonight's game is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. And Dick's Sporting Goods wants to thank all the athletes for their untouchable moments. And remember, every season starts at Dick's Sporting Goods. And by H&H &H Auto, customer-friendly, guaranteed quality, the number one place for auto sales and service on Hilton Head, H&H &H Auto. Sportsmanlike is the call. That's never good. Ball's at about the four yard line and they'll wind the clock here. First and goal. Hand off inside. And the dance in the end zone is Gerald Robinson. So a three yard touchdown run by Gerald Robinson. And it's gonna be a 36 to nothing score at this point. Get a flag down. Holding. Uh, it's coming one. back. Well, there's my pen. Tony stole it. Okay. Is yours back, Chuck? Hey, we want you to stay tuned at halftime. We'll have the presentation of the Dick Sporting Goods High School Spirit Award competition. Be a long halftime, Chuck. This is gonna be like <laughs> Super Bowl halftime. We're gonna have Janet Jackson out there and everything. The store manager, Norbedo Medius, will present the $750 Dick Sporting Goods gift certificate to Bluffton High School Athletic Director, Coach Dave Adams. And following that, we'll have Chuck and the cheerleaders. And oh, and more laundry. Should have tied as one of our sponsors. A little laundry <laughs> detergent. Oh, right, there was some motion by the defense and the offense there, Dale. But it uh, looks like they're going to call it against the defense. They're crossing over the line of scrimmage. So the touchdown didn't count because it was a penalty. Defense. It was only third to nothing. Still first down. Well, this is what Coach Payne wanted to avoid was to get behind early like this and kind of snowballs on you. We wanted to avoid all this laundry too. First and goal. Throws it, got him. Touchdown. That's Marquise Weber. And he takes it in from about nine yards out, eight yards out. So Weber from CJ. And it's going to be 36 to nothing. And How many Web oh, touchdowns does Weber have tonight, Dale? Now the referees are talking to both team captains out here, and I think they're trying to get control of this ball game. So I think they're just saying hey, enough with the chatter. How many touchdowns does Weber have? What do you have him down for? Yeah, one, two, three. Three touchdowns for Weber. You know, we had three touchdowns last week, too, in their 50 to 0 win over James Island. Five receptions for 145 yards and three touchdowns. Not a bad night last week. And the kick is up, and the kick yeah. is good. It's 37 to nothing in favor of the Bobcats. 3.26 to go in the first half. You're watching the High School Football Zone on WHHI Sports TV. Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Suck. I've been a dentist for over 20 years and I've recently moved my practice here from Ohio. What makes Ocean Dental different? I offer weekend and evening hours, which is great for busy professionals. Cosmetic dentistry options are available and best of all, I'm offering a free exam and x-rays for any new patients. Having the right family dentist is important. Call Ocean Dental at 342-6677 to schedule a free exam and x-rays. Your teeth are your ultimate accessory, and I'll make yours shine. Welcome back to the High School Football Zone. Coming to you from Bluffton, South Carolina here tonight. The annual Bridge Bowl between 
Bluffton and Hilton Head High School, and right now, Bluffton is taking control of this ball game. 37 to nothing with 3.26 to go in the first half. Here's the kick. Low line drive. Taken at the five, dropped. Picked up at the three, not at the 10. And that's gonna be it. Snowed under at about the 10 yard line. It'll be first and 10. First and 10 from the nine yard line. The Seahawks, they've got a lot of uh, work ahead of them here, Chuck. Well, they do too. It's, it's a shame that, uh, you know, that, that it's gone this way for them. They just lost all sorts of momentum. And the tide, uh, you know, every time it looks like they're able to get, get themselves going with the first down or get some momentum, it's just uh, make another costly error or mistake. So again, Michael Julian, was they, and they're again, they're short a player. Boy. What well, is it, a little strange formation here? So a handoff again to Lewis, trying to get him going. Gets about three on the play, well, second down right and the 10 yards, right, uh, seven yards. Them. It's pretty much individual the effort there by Lewis. Lewis. And eight. So second down and eight yards to go. Julian getting the calls from the sideline, comes in, coach, sets up his offense. Coach Fuller, the offensive coach. Snap, pitches it out, and ouch. He may not get up right away. Snowed under, and that's number 22. Well, he got sandwiched with number 44 and 17. So I'm bluffing on that. That was Shamik Blackshear, the sophomore, six foot five, 235 pounds. Number 17, so came in, no lower to boom. Actually a loss of a yard, it'll be third and nine coming up. And he's finally gonna get off the field. And they're gonna huddle up. They're gonna, the referee's giving him a little chance to get off the field, because he's, he's still pretty woozy out there. Speaking of woozy, did you ever have a little concussion, little bell rung on the field, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> Only in practice, right? Can't remember. Well. Bluffton's going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it, too. We'll, we'll take a break here. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. The answer is up there in the patterns. Our best guess is it hasn't gotten very far. Oh, we rattle a few. Morning. Five minutes. Homeland Marathon. On demand. We put showtime on your time. Passionate about Homeland? We invent better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Welcome back to Rockin' Bluffton. Fans and the team here are all into it. And we're only in the first half. We've got a third and nine coming up for the Seahawks. 2.06 to go here in the first half of play. Again, Julian looks it over, takes down the high snap. Looking, 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 running for his life. And he's gonna be dragged down. Give a progress out to about the one yard line, and that'll be it. And there's still a little uh, chatter going on out there, but Julie, you got to get rid of the ball here. All right? Yep. Now it's too late. And he's dragged down. That's number 40. That's Logan Phillips. And we got a flag, too. Against the Seahawks, okay. That's interesting. Half the distance to the goal. I don't think we can measure that. That's, it's almost down the goal line now. <laughs> well, 
Things are getting out of control here. And this is not what you want to see. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike against the Seahawks. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike against the Bobcats. So it offsets. So the ball is going to be down at the one yard line. And we're definitely going to be punting here. Well, these, these players know each other pretty well, Chuck. I mean, it's, they've kind of grown up together. And, uh, well, it's gone back to 2006 when they had the first Bridge Bowl. That 10-0 win by Hilton Head High School. It was dominated the first few years by the Seahawks from Hilton Head High. Last two years, 210-6 over the last four games have been the combined scores. Ouch. We're going to add to that tonight, I think. Right at the end of the end zone. Here's the kick. Gets it away. Good kick. And it rolls out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. Mark it at the 49. It'll be first and 10 for the Bobcats at that point. Again, at halftime, we've got the Chuck and the Cheerleaders. We've got the presentation of the Dick Sporting Goods High School Spirit Award, which is going to go to Bluffton. Uh, we've got uh, a number of other things at halftime. Still have the first team offensive line out there, Dell. Pierce Freeman, at left tackle, number 60. Yurko Castillo, 69. Darren Lundy, 78. Josh Dowell, 55. And Austin Chittum, number 59. Going for a big one here. Wow. Knocked away at the last moment. And we got a flag. Wow. Let's see if we can see it again here. I don't know if we can see the interference on the replay or not, but. He grabbed him at some point, and uh, so it'll come back and it'll be a 15-yarder. 131 to go in the first half. Uh, penalties on number two of the Seahawks. That's Johnny Dillon. He's in, in their de uh, defensive halfback. For the injured Robbie Ayoa. Well, and they're going to mark it off here from the 49 down to the 34. If my math is correct. And it'll be first and 10 with 131 to go. And they still got their, they're going to have their foot on the accelerator, I think, for four quarters here, Chuck. <laughs> Seems to be the MO. Good snap. Now a little delayed handoff up the middle. Nice tackle. Major on the carry down to the 49. That's Tykeen Major, the carry. Yeah, 42 for the Seahawks defense is their best defensive Major player. Six yards, second down, Bobcat. Second down with 110 and counting. Ball's at the 29 yard line, second and five. Good snap, rolling out. Frazier stops. Tries to get loose, but can't do it. Gets thrown down, and it'll be third down coming up. And we got more talk going on on the sidelines, more whistles, and we got a timeout. Bobcat's going to take a timeout, but we're not. We're staying right here. It's 37 to nothing in favor of the Bobcats with. 47 seconds to go here in the first half of play. And it's been, you know, they've done it a number of different ways. Frazier on a, on a two yard run and he's throwing the ball. Uh, he had a 33 yard uh, bubble screen pass to Demetrius Smalls that went for a touchdown and three times to Mr. Weber, six, 10 and eight yards. And then uh, setting up that six yard touch was a Vinny Bonnie to um, to Robinson, 70 yard little flea flicker pass on the end around. And uh, so they've done a lot of different things here on offense. They've got tremendous offense, and their defense is not too shabby either, Chuck. No, it is, but um, you know, who knew that Vinny Bonney was left handed and Marquise Weber were left handed? They both threw touchdown or long passes off of the wide receiver reverse. Third and six. Looks in the backfield. Now he goes long. Got a man. Got him. Inside the five. 
Not uh, spotted at the five, where he's out of bounds with 41 seconds to go. Your junior is the inside receiver, and he starts off at the lower part of the screen, runs downfield. Gerald Robinson, the junior, five foot 11, 175 pounds, a real true speedster. It'll be first down here. Walgreens first down at the five, first and goal. And C.J. Frazier delivers the ball perfectly. They're trying to tack on another touchdown here. There's the handoff, and that's going to go. That's Robinson. Robinson gets it for a, for a five-yard touchdown run. They're scoring every way they want to score. As set up here now, this is their extra point try. There's a snap to the opposite side. And number Vinny Bonney carries it in. Another two points. That's 45 to nothing, and we're not yet at half. You're watching the High School Football Zone on WHHI Sports TV. Welcome back to Bluffton. The Bobcats lead it 45 to nothing here with 36 seconds to go in the first half of play. And they're getting set to kick it off. There's a kick goes into the end zone and they're gonna put it out at the 20, 20 yard line, first and 10. What, you know, Bluffton is winning big obviously and they've, they've won big the first five games. But they've yet to play a, a, a 4A level team in South Carolina. So in two weeks, they got a week off here now. They'll, they'll open up with Buford. We saw Buford last week almost pull off a victory over Kane, Kane Bay. Bay. Right. We thought it was a great, really exciting match. But um, I guess that'll be the first real test. Unfortunately for Hilton Head High School, who's moved down, who's at the 3A level, again, based on enrollment, they just haven't had a chance to get the horses. Yeah, not yet. Julian hands it off, looking for running room. Inside is Lewis, finding very little room to run there as we run out the first first half of play, I believe. We'll see if they just run one more play or not here. Well, you're right. I mean, Buford comes here next uh, two weeks. We'll be here for that. And that'll be quite a game because they travel well too. And they, there'll be some tailgating going on uh, for that game, Chuck. We'll be going out there for those brats and uh, beverages. Three seconds to go. They're not going to run a play. We've come to halftime. The home team leads it 45 to nothing here in Bluffton in the Bridge Bowl. You're watching the High School Football Zone on WHHI Sports TV. You just can't get enough of Homeland. You follow Carrie's every move. When you love entertainment this much, the only place to be is Time Warner Cable. Enjoy everything you love even better. Watch live TV on your favorite screen in any room and get the best internet around. Call 1-855-704-4508 for TV, internet, and phone for as low as $99.99 a month. Now including Showtime. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Salted dog, you're sly as a fox. Salted dog, Captain Charity sitting in a tree, Kiwi waving back at me. Honey, won't you be the salted dog? Oh, salted dog, oh, salted dog, you're sly as a fox. Salted dog, 
Down south he's sitting by the dog Singing a song about a salty dog Honey, won't you be my salty dog? My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. H&H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H&H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H&H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H&H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H&H Auto. Collins Pest Control has been serving the Lowcountry for almost 13 years. Staffed with trained professionals in the industry, we offer monthly and quarterly pest control services. Need a seal 100 for a real estate closing or a termite pre-treat for new construction? Call Collins Pest Control today. We are a family-owned business and we are dedicated to providing quality service to our valued customers. Let our family help your family. Call us today at 524-5544 for a free estimate. Do you need to sell a home or are you looking to purchase a new one? Hi, I'm Rhonda Merrick with Ballinger Realty of Beaufort, South Carolina. I've been serving the Low Country for six years and I want to help you with any of your real estate needs. I'll assist with finding the right loan and lender and I will help you with every detail before closing. Whether you're a first time home buyer, military personnel, or retiring to Beaufort, together we can find the perfect match to fit your lifestyle and your budget. For real estate on the move, Call Rhonda Merrick. Welcome back for the New River Auto Mall halftime show here on the high school football game of the week. And uh, right now the band from Hill is performing. They'll be followed by the band from Bluffton High School. So let's take a listen. Listening to the Hilton Head High School marching band at the New River Auto Mall halftime show. Coming up, we'll have the uh, Dick Sporting Goods Award for sportsmanship. That'll be presented here at halftime. Also, the Chuck and the Cheerleaders. We'll be right back here on the high school's game of the week. Your HHI Sports TV. You know, 
it's funny. We've never talked about saving energy. But somehow, she just knew. Your Touchstone Energy Cooperative can teach you how to save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. We are Palmetto Electric Cooperative, your Touchstone Energy Partner. At 123 Drive Driving Academy, the goal is to help students become confident, cautious, and courteous drivers. They offer high-quality classroom and behind-the-wheel training with friendly, professional, and state-certified instructors who make learning easy and safe. Go to 123drivedrivingacademy.com for more information or call 263-5023 and mention the Friday Night Football Zone to receive $10 off your training session. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, call 123 Drive Driving Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Sugg. I've been a dentist for over 20 years and I've recently moved my practice here from Ohio. What makes Ocean Dental different? I offer weekend and evening hours, which is great for busy professionals. Cosmetic dentistry options are available and best of all, I'm offering a free exam and x-rays for any new patients. Having the right family dentist is important. Call Ocean Dental at 342-6677 to schedule a free exam and x-rays. Your teeth are your ultimate accessory, and I'll make yours shine. Hi, this is Chuck Zapek with the new River Mall halftime show. 45 to nothing, Bluffton leaves Hilton Head High School. With me on my right is Roberto Martias. He's the store general manager of Dick Sporting's Good. And on my left is the athletic director of and janitor of Bluffton High School. That's Dave Adams. He's here to accept the award from Dick Sporting Goods, Norberto, maybe you can tell us what the award is all about. Yeah, we had a spirit competition for uh, for the local area. And what we did is we handed out like 5,000 cheer cards, and the students were able to take the cheer cards and cut out the uh, portion to vote, and they brought them to the stores and dropped them in the box, and we counted all the votes, and Bluffton High School won the contest um, for $750 to their program. That's great. And Dave, did you have anything to do with getting the kids to go out there? Well, what we did, we passed the cards out during the JV football game. If we'd had an opportunity to do this uh, varsity game, we'd had a lot more, but we're still thankful we won, and we're thankful for what Dick Sporting Goods is doing for us. Well, that's great. Now, I understand you're an original here. 2004 was the first year for Bluffton High School. You've been here nine years. Is that right? And it looks a little bit different in the bleachers up there and the scoreboard compared to year one, believe me. Well, Coach, you've done a great job in nine years bringing this football program to life, and this is like almost a college atmosphere here today. Great. Well, that we want to give them the yep. award. So to on Berto. behalf of Dick Sporting Goods, so seven hundred fifty dollars for the Bluffton High School. We appreciate it, and good luck on the rest of the year. Thank you. Look forward to doing business in the future. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it you. very much. Well, that's the award for the Dick Sporting Goods High School. Uh, um, for the, uh, the award, what we'd like to have now is a cheer from our cheerleaders. First of all, I want to introduce our cheerleaders, our, ca our captains. It's Lauren Tyler and Rachel Massinger. Lauren is the first one over here smiling so brightly for us. Lauren, you're a senior? Yes, sir. And what do you plan to do next year? Um, go to college at Clemson and uh, start to become a pediatrician. A pediatrician? Uh, that's great. Do you think you'll be a cheerleader at Clemson? Uh, if the opportunity presents itself, I would love to. Uh, that's great. Well, we hope it does. And Rachel, what about yourself? I'd like to attend College of Charleston next year. And what do you think you'll major in? Um, exercise science and master in occupational therapy. Oh, my goodness. That's great. Not only are you great cheerleaders, you're great students, it sounds like. We, um, what's been the best thing for you at Bluffton High School as a cheerleader? What's, what what will, will you remember the most, aside from this interview? 
Definitely cheering at every football game and being a part of such an amazing team. Oh, that's great. Well, Lauren, Rachel, I understand you're the team captains. You're going to lead your team in a cheer for us right now. Well, that's it at halftime. New River Mall halftime show with the presentation from Dick Sporting's Good and the wonderful Bluffton cheerleaders. Thank you. The folks here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram are piling on the savings with a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country and hitting the road in comfort. With a spacious interior, you can take the whole crew on your next adventure. Where'd everybody go? Come test drive one today at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram at the New River Auto Mall. We're located on Highway 278, Exit 8 at I-95 or online at HiltonHeadCJD.com. We have it all at the New River Auto Mall. Golas Family Jewelers is a family-owned business that you've trusted as we've serviced our community for over 15 years. Golas is now inviting you to visit us at the store next door. The store next door is an eclectic collection of unique fashions and gifts, we offer Bravo bags, chameleon sterling silver jewelry, laurel birch accessories, and Keir jewelry. I'm Chris Golis, and we want to thank you for your continued business and invite you to come see us at the store next door. Golis, an industry name you can trust. Walgreens Pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens Pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens Pharmacist also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. H&H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H&H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H&H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H&H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H&H Auto. And welcome back here to the New River Auto Mall Halftime Show. And as part of the presentation here for the New River Auto Mall, we have our Drive of the Week. And bringing that to us is Chad from New River Auto Mall.
Hey everybody, I'm Chad Dolbier with New River Auto Mall TV, and today we're bringing you the drive of the week, that's right, the 2013 Mazda CX-5. Take a look at this vehicle, absolutely beautiful vehicle. We are at the Lufton High School today. Right behind me is the Bluffton Bobcats football stadium. We're having a great time out here tonight, Friday night football. That's exactly what WHHI is bringing you with the New River Auto Mall TV halftime show. So let's take a look at the CX-5. This vehicle does have the Sky Active Technology 2.0 liter engine that's producing 32 mile per gallon on the fuel economy. That is exceptionally well, folks, with a crossover type vehicle like this. Also, plenty of room. It's got good ground clearance to get off the ground and plenty of power with 155 horsepower. This vehicle is an awesome vehicle to drive. Come on out to Hilton Head Mazda located at the New River Auto Mall and check out this week's Drive of the Week. We'll see you soon and thanks for watching. And Chad from the New River Auto Mall and uh, bringing you the Drive of the Week. We're back here in Bluffton. It's 45 to nothing at halftime. And uh, we'll be right back for the second half kickoff after this message. The answer is up there, in the patterns. Our best guess is it hasn't gotten very far. Oh, well, we rattle a few. Morning. Five minutes, Homeland Marathon, on demand. We put showtime on your time. Sorry. Passionate about Homeland? We invent better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. If you like high school football, you're going to love high school basketball. Tune in this winter to see your favorite teams face off against their crosstown rivals. The High School Basketball Game of the Week, only on WHHI-TV. It's tough to come this far and lose. It hurts. But you are defined in life by the way you respond to defeat. That pit in your stomach, fill it with fire. Next season starts right now. Remember this hurt. Think about it when you want to sleep in in the morning. Think about it when you want to shut it down instead of doing an extra set. Promise yourself that you will never, ever feel like this again. You promise yourself that you will come back untouchable. <laughs> Welcome back to Bluffton, South Carolina. The Bobcats are laying claim to this uh, Bridge Bowl trophy here with the first half score, 45 to nothing, Chuck. And uh, I don't know, if you, 
it's hard to uh, it's hard to motivate a team when they're down 45 to nothing. It's easy when you're up 45 to nothing. <coughs> well, things started getting chippy there. We had a few personal fouls. Uh, let's see if it continues in the second half. Taking at the goal line out to about the 15, 16, and that'll be it. And uh, that's it's number two, I believe. Yeah. Dylan, I believe, is Dylan on the carry. Yeah, Dylan, yeah, Dylan that's, that's a gutsy run because there's five guys that ran around the wedge and he kept going straight ahead. Good, good toughness. So 16 yard line, first and 10. Michael Julian leads them back out. Let's see if they can't. They got to get something positive going here. Well, you know, the thing is, you, what you want to do is come out and just run your offense. Yeah. What you plan to run at the beginning of the game, just go back. They, they set up with trips. And, uh, you know, just see, just run your offense. Forget about the score. Try to win the half. Well, 47 is a blocker, and they run inside trap. Nice okay. job. And uh, we've not seen that before. Okay. So we see a little something, something different here. Gain of about two yards, second and eight. Second down coming up, second and eight. You see the inside trap come in there with... Well, we don't have a 47. Maybe, yeah. uh, it's tough to read. Yeah. Maybe that's 42. Maybe maybe that was um, well, Trey Davis. There's a handoff up the middle. Across the 20 to about the 24. Lewis again on the carry. And up to the 23. Yeah, a couple of yards short of the first down. You see, I think 42 is Kalen Ford. He's normally 52, and he's 42 tonight. Or, 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 Keith, or, or he's 20, usually 23. But um, we don't have a 42 in our roster, but he's playing a heck of a game. <laughs> he's playing in the backfield right now, and they're just running straight ahead. Third and three, breaking loose. And Lewis once again. And uh, it's been Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Look at the block. We, have, we got to identify who 42 is. He gets a pretty good lick in there. And that, that's what they plan to do. They're just going to come out and run tough, tough football inside. Leo Lewis. With the Walgreens first down, ball at the 34-yard line, first and 10. Just underway here in the third quarter. Good snap. Good throw. The outside, and this time hanging on is James Sanders. Yeah, James had a couple drops in the first half, and he on a pass pattern almost yeah, identical to that one. It ended up being a drop, and this time he comes back and makes a catch. Okay, so he steps out of bounds just short of the first down. It'll be second and all, we'll call it two yards, short two yards. Again in the shotgun, good snap. Now he rolls, looks, throws it low and incomplete. It'll be third down coming up. brings up third and two. Well, we had the uh, Dick, Dick Sport, the uh, Dick Sporting Goods presented their Sportsmanship Award. Congratulations to Bluffton High School. Their athletic director accepted the award, $750 for the their teams to be able to use at Dick Sporting Goods. And we welcome Dick Sporting Goods to this area. We could use a good sporting goods store. And there you are again, their big man formation. Looks Third. like they're gonna run it right up the middle. That's Scott uh, D'Amico, and he does pick up the first down. On third and two, they decide to go with their their big man formation, a little bit of a wildcat with, a, with two defensive linemen in front of him. First down for the Seahawks at about the 45. At 23 is KJ Ford. KJ Ford, 42. We just don't have an identification on him. He's got to be some other player. A little pass on the bubble screen, and it's overthrown. That's intended for Dylan incomplete. Yeah, so that'll be second down coming up. Uh, this gets away from Michael Julian a little bit. Well, tonight's game brought to you by New River Auto Mall. They have it all at the New River Auto Mall. Over 1,000 vehicles at 12 dealerships, all in one location. Visit the New River Auto Mall. I want to thank them for sponsoring this halftime show. We have the cheerleaders out there, and... The bands were playing. Great time at halftime. Julian gets whacked just as he releases the ball. And uh, he's a little slow to get up. Clean hit, but boy, that guy was coming. And threw it into a lot of traffic. 
But well, lucky it wasn't an interception, that's for sure. Yep, third down coming up. Outside a linebacker came free up the middle. Got another vehicle we need moved. CBR 837. That's on a dark Toyota Tacoma. It is blocking parking out front. It will be towed if not moved. Chuck, I think that's your truck, isn't it? I, do, I drive a Toyota, Toyota Tacoma. CBR 837. I have no idea what the license plate number. <laughs> I couldn't tell you my license plate number. All right, well, it's going to be third and 10. The 45. Julian, a little swing pass out here to the outside. And complete, to the close to the 50 at 49. Picks up about four in the play and that'll be it. Fourth down coming up. That's Jermarcus Mordell. Mordell. Only 145 pounds. Makes a nice catch, makes a nice move. Five yards short. So we'll see what, they, what the Seahawks decide to do. They, Huddle on the sidelines. Well, they're sending in their kicking team. Yep. Got a Michael Julian there. 839 and counting here in the third quarter. And the Bobcats about to get the ball back, and that's all they need. Now they, they do the split out again and try and get a penalty. They don't get it. Although Coach Payne was looking for it. One of the coaches over there was looking for it. And there is a flag. They're going to call encroachment. I'm not sure that's the second time that they called. Yeah, they did that, huh? I guess when I mean, they go to that shift, yep. the defensive lineman crosses over to the line, line yeah. of scrim or the line of scrimmage, the imaginary line. And they're calling off sides. Yep. You know, it's not an imaginary line. If you watch it on TV, it's got that yellow line and the blue <laughs> lines. Why? I don't see that on the field, though, when I look out the window here. Right? And Coach Cribbs is, is questioning the call right now. There's the old trophy, what the doing. 2010 trophy. Look at that thing. Holy smokes. <laughs> I might need you to help me pick that one up. <laughs> wow. Looks like it's a Christmas tree there. <laughs> okay, well, we got a timeout on the field, but we're going to stay right here with it. Just a reminder that uh, it is getting to be flu season, and Walgreens, one of our sponsors, where Walgreens, there's always a way to stay well. And we want you to stop by and visit Salty Dog, Salty Dog Cafe, where you can pick up your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory located at South Beach Marina or on Arrow Road, and you can pick it up almost any time on their website, saltydog.com. There's a 2010 trophy. It looks nothing at all like the 2012 trophy we saw earlier, which actually looks like a really nice trophy, which was uh, put together by the Golas Family Jewelers. They are also one of our sponsors. Uh, they'll be presenting the Golas Family Jewelers trophy, the 2012 Bridge Bowl trophy at the conclusion of tonight's game. And uh, our crack uh, station manager will be handling those chores. Chuck, you'll be there to pick up the trophy. Oh, a little bad snap. Good second effort. And that's uh, that's number 32. That's Scott D'Amico. Yeah, you want to see an athlete. Watch this. He comes out here. There's no room up, up front. He's able to shake off a low tackle and still keep his balance and be able to move downfield for an extra six yards. Great run by Scott D'Amico. So they do pick up the first down. It's a Walgreens first down at the 40 yard line. First and 10 for the Seahawks. And they say try and get on the board here, here in the second half of play. They still gotta get Lewis going. Well, that was well covered and he threw it to his girlfriend up in the stands. <laughs> The public address announcer even picked up on that one. That was second row, I think. Okay. So it'll be second and ten. Well, you're right. They got to get the running in. That's that's their bread and butter. They got to mix in the run here. They can't just be throwing the ball because they're they're teeing off on defense. They're just coming after them. Good blocking that time. That's complete. And that once that's uh, Orishak. Number 11, Adam Morishak. 
Yeah. That's the first down. He comes in from an inside slide position, running from his right to his left into the sideline. Julian delivers the ball right on time. Yeah, good protection that time. It's another Walgreens first down at the 25. Now Julian looking to his sidelines. He can't hear what he doesn't doesn't know what the what he wants to call here, but now he's set. And now we got a timeout, or we have a what do we got? Timeout. We do have a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. It's 45 nothing in favor of the Bobcats. You're watching the high school football zone. W H H I Sports TV. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. The folks here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram are piling on the savings with a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country and hitting the road in comfort. With a spacious interior, you can take the whole crew on your next adventure. Where'd everybody go? Come test drive one today at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram at the new River Auto Mall. We're located on Highway 278, exit 8 at I-95 or online at HiltonHeadCJD.com. We have it all at the new River Auto Mall. Golas Family Jewelers is a family-owned business that you've trusted as we've serviced our community for over 15 years. Golas is now inviting you to visit us at the store next door. The store next door is an eclectic collection of unique fashions and gifts. We offer Bravo bags, chameleon sterling silver jewelry, laurel birch accessories, and Keir jewelry. I'm Chris Golas and we want to thank you for your continued business and invite you to come see us at the store next door. Golas, an industry name you can trust. Fans are getting into it here. It's 7.20 to go in the third quarter. And it's all Bluffton, 45 to nothing. The Seahawks facing a first and 10 at the Bluffton 25 as they try and get some points on the board. Again, the referee is trying to maintain control of this ball game. And uh, a little bit, a little difficult, a little bit chippiness out there. Now they back off here. There's the handoff. And Lewis. Well, he spun off one tackler and met one head on. So no gain on the play. It'll be second down. Good block that time. Ooh. In the front line for the Seahawks. That was number 75, Logan Ballard, coming over from his right offensive tackle position that threw the trap block. There's the pitch now. There's going to be a throw, it looks like. Trying to throw it. Drops it instead. Picked up. It's number 17. No flag. Shamik Blackshear. Defensive end, number 17. And we're just going to see, we're setting up to be a halfback pass. And he just dropped the ball. And Blackshear picked it up, and he was gone to the races. And Folks, remember that number, remember that name, number 17, the defensive end, Shamik Blackshear. Six foot five, 235 pounds. He's just a sophomore. We'll be playing a lot of football here. Both here at Bluffton as well as uh, probably at the next level. He continues to grow into his frame. Now we got, a, we got some more discussions on the field. And it, the coach is uh, a little upset. He had a dead ball, personal or uh, unsportsmanlike against Hilton Head. So that's going to be assessed on the kickoff. I think it was the coaching staff. I don't hope it wasn't anything like, remember the old, uh, was the NFL game where the guy ran out of the field? That was a college game. He ran out of the field and tackled somebody off the sidelines and kind of break away like that. You don't remember that? 
I remember that. And I, 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 and you I played in that. Seen, <laughs> no, I did play in the Orange Bowl in 1970 against Missouri, and we had George Landis picked off a pass. We were winning 14-7 at the end of the game, and the coach from Missouri coach stuck his foot out and tripped up Landis as he was going in for a touchdown in the last That's minute of the game. game. I've seen that happen before. <laughs> Well, I don't and, think they, and, and you know what? They didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> they thought he tripped. We watched it on the film after the game. Like, nobody could believe we'd never seen a coach stick out his foot and trip a player running in for a touchdown down the sideline. 51 points so far with the extra point try coming. Spot, kick, and the kick is good. Yeah, 52 to nothing good. in favor of the Bobcats. You remember who that coach was at Missouri, don't you? No, I don't. He ended up being the head coach of Notre Dame. Well, we'll have to come back and hear who that is. <laughs> we're going to go. We're going to take a commercial break. You're watching the High School Football Zone. On WHHI Sports TV. H&H &H Auto is Hilton Head's number one place for service collision repair and sales. H&H &H Auto's service department will keep any vehicle running its best, and when the unexpected happens, trust their collision repair to get you back on the road. Looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? H&H &H Auto offers a full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs that are certified and come with a warranty. Visit the number one rated service department on Hilton Head at 35 Hunter Road and H&H &H Auto Body at 17 Cardinal Road. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. H&H &H Auto. Welcome back to Bluffton, where the Bobcats just scored again on a fumble recovery. That was about uh, six, 70 yards in the fumble recovery by number 17. I'm running out of room to write down all these scores. And there was a, on, on the return, there was an unsportsmanlike against the bench of Hilton at high school. And uh, so, they're going to kick it off from the 45. Of the, they, this, they did this before, and they got a fumble and, and sure. ended up scoring off of that. So Ended up being a pooch kick. There it is this again. This time but kicks it gonna go through into the end, the end zone, and that'll come back out to the 20. So not a, probably should have just pooched that one. Hey, tonight's game is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Dick's Sporting Goods wants to thank all of the athletes for their untouchable moments. And remember, every season starts at Dick's Sporting Goods. Well, we had Dick Sporting Goods donate seven hundred and fifty dollars to this, win, this winner of the Spirit Award, which is Bluffton High School. And at halftime, we gave the award to Dave Adams, the athletic director here at Bluffton, who is also the janitor, as I found out. <laughs> well, you got to do it all sometimes, right, Chuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he puts together a team on the field and he stays afterwards and sweeps out the stadium. <laughs> what a guy. Well, it's first and 10 for the Seahawks as they had a drive going there. And again, the costly fumble on the halfback option pass. And uh, boy, now here goes right up the middle. This is Julian carrying it for a 32-yard line for a first down. That's a Walgreens first down for Michael Julian. Yeah, they just run the down and on option this time back in the in the uh, pistol formation. That's a play I thought we would have seen more of in the first half. I thought in order for, for Hilton Head to stay competitive coming into tonight's game, they'd have to be able to run the ball, particularly with Lewis inside and you know Julian. He, in the past, has not been a great runner, but this year he's shown that he had the, has the ability, and uh, we may see more of him tonight. That was a pitch on the ground, and that's not going to go anywhere. Good pickup by the running back, but that'll be a loss on the play. Tonight's game brought to you by Time Warner Cable. Catch all the action this season with Time Warner Cable TV, Internet, and phone service. Whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable provides better ways to share it Get lost in it and enjoy it even more. Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. Julian looking across the middle, and Fender got there just. Well, looked like he got there a little early. Orshak's looking for a flag, and I think he deserves one. Look here on the replay; you're going to see he gets hit before the ball gets there. Yeah. Well, 
awfully close. Coach Payne would agree with you on that one, Chuck. But you'll get them all. Third and 16. Clock is now running, even on the incomplete pass. So 52 to nothing, and see what the Seahawks still can running do. a no huddle offense. So good snap. And it's complete out to the 30 and thrown out of bounds at that point is, that's Dylan, number two. That's one of the best throws he's made all day, Michael Julian. It's an out pattern, hits it to the wide field, puts a little zip behind it, backing up. Oh, it is fourth down. That is special teams, punt teams out on the field now. Okay. Julian came into tonight's game averaging 49 yards a punt. So they may be short a player. I'm not sure. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think they got enough. He kicks it. Good kick. Boy, dangerous catch, but he makes it to the 50. And another flag on this one. And uh, so that's going to come back with the flag. Tonight's game brought to you by Golis Family Jewelers. Tonight's 2012 Bridge Bowl will be presented by the Golis Family Jewelers and the store next door. Shop for all the best holiday season hostess gifts at the store next door. Golis, an industry name that you can trust. Beautiful well, trophy, Chuck. No, it is, too. It is. I'll tell you, he's going to be tired at the end of tonight's game. Is Adam Morishak, number 11 for Hilton Head High. He's going both ways and playing on, its, on, the, on the kick teams. On the special teams, he made a nice tackle that time. And then Caleb Martin came in, number 20, almost stripped the ball away from the ball carrier. Well, it's going to come back uh, with a block in the back to about the 40-yard line. And it'll be spotted down there, and that's where the Bobcats will take over. This will be the first offensive possession of the second half, Chuck. They uh, scored on that fumble recovery, and otherwise it's yeah, half has been... And they still have the first team out there, led by Darren Lundy, 78 to center. 6'2", 215 pounds. Left guard, Yurko Castildo. Uh, left tackle, Pierce Freeman. Right guard, Josh Darrell. Austin Chittum, number 59, is the right tackle. Again, the clock is now in, in running formation, and CJ throws it out to the outside. Good catch. And that's to Robinson. That's complete. That's going to be enough for a first down. Walgreens first down at the 49. Tonight's game brought to you by Lava Fitness. Stop in today for a free class or training session. Relax and burn calories in their sauna and enjoy time away from your children with their free child care. Lava 24 Fitness. Reach your peak. Jailbreak here, and the oh, screen was set up and couldn't hold on. Is that's major uh, middle boy, screen? Boy, he had uh, blockers in front and defenders all behind him, and uh, couldn't hold on. So it'll be second down coming up. Good thing we're holding that high. He might still be running had he caught that. Yeah, he would have scored by now. <laughs> it's pretty fast. Oh, well, we got flags. See which way they go. Tonight's game also brought to you by H&H &H Auto. Customer friendly, guaranteed quality. The number one place for auto sales and service on Hilton Head, H&H &H Auto. Station manager is really happy with me tonight. He's gonna buy us beers afterwards, Chuck. Oh, wow. That's what I heard. Yeah. I didn't know John Byrne would allow us to have such a big expense account. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask, don't tell, I guess. <laughs> Frazier. Oh. <laughs> well, that would have been. Watch this one, Chuck. Tell me, is this holding or what? Tyshawn Green reaches Whoa. out, and you know, that's where you need the old tearaway jerseys. Remember those? The old tearaway jerseys? Wow. 
Pass interference. Well, Bluffton's done a great job, you know, rebuilding. Coming into tonight's, uh, into this season, there were some questions as to how they're going to replace some of their re their key losses. They, if you remember, Jerry Jerry Scott was a running back. Eric Boyles, Zach Scott, Dimitri Lowry. What a great core of receivers. Corey Stoner, and they had Hayden Gillespie and and Ladarius Hughes and Abdul Malik on the defense. Took them all the way to the state title. You know, this offense is pretty explosive. They've yet to play, though, as we mentioned earlier, a Region 4A team. They will in two weeks when they play Beaufort. And we'll be here for that one. And they'll have their bands with them. And that'll be a, that'll be a fun night. It will be, too. Frazier looking. has got a man deep. And he's got it for the touchdown. From the 34-yard line, Demetrius Smalls gets another one. There's a flag down in the end zone. So I'm sure it's going to be against the defense here. He's holding on to his face mask, I believe, at the end. So that'll be assessed probably on the kickoff. Uh, that's what it looks like too, Dale. I think you're right. Touchdown. Yeah, a little horse collar tackle there. So that'll be assessed on Demetrius the Demetrius Smalls. Kickoff. He's a senior. It's <coughs> That was uh, 34 yards. With 2.20 to go here in the third quarter. Extra point try is up, and the extra point is good. It's 59 to nothing here with 2.20 to go in the third quarter. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. People say I catch everything. It's true, because I have time on the cable video and internet. I can watch thousands of on-demand movies and all my favorite shows anytime, anywhere. On my smartphone, on my tablet, super fast on my laptop, and my 60-inch LCD. Uh-oh. Whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable invents better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Well, Bluffton's set to kick off after scoring on a 34-yard pass from C.J. Frazier to Demetrius Smalls. And... Uh, they lead it now, 59 to nothing. We're into running time here. Still in the third quarter. Next week, Chuck, we're gonna be at Hilton Head Prep. I think it's Calhoun Academy comes to Hilton Head Prep. Afternoon game. Yep. Kick goes through the end zone. That'll come out to the 20-yard line. Yeah, we haven't been there all season. That'll be fun. That'll be an afternoon game. And Kick goes out, take it the 20, first and 10. I think we're all going out to dinner after that. <laughs> yeah, John Burns said that we could all go to dinner after the game on next next uh, Friday night. So I'll, um, I'll, I'll be there. I'll thank Mr. Byrne for that. That's what Tony told me anyhow. I, well, you know, some of the question marks come into the season with the loss of some of the seniors that we talked about before. Takeem Major, the running back in the fullback position, and then there was the seniors, Marquise Weber and Demetrius Smalls, who we just saw make another touchdown catch. They looked like they've answered that question. Here's Khalil Lewis. Lewis on the run. Takes it across the 30. That's another Walgreens first down for the Seahawks. They've been able to move it in spurts, but then they kind of hurt themselves with penalties and whatnot. Well, I think you know, we all knew that Bluffton was going to be able to score touchdowns this year and in tonight's game. What our question, which and it would hurt them last year, was their defense. There's you another know, they, Walgreens first down. Yeah, it's uh, it was their defense and, and their kicking game, which were question marks and cost them last year when they got to the championship game. They, they were they allowed 42 points to be scored on by South Point, and uh, they got well, out kicked. First down. Um, and, and been, positioning on punts and kickoffs. Uh, so that's an area that we've yet to see them test it, is their defense. 
in their kicking game. Well, we'll see him in the second half being tested. They're nice. throwing a shutout so far against an improving <laughs> offense. I mean, the Seahawks got off to a slow start with that loss, and I attribute a lot of that to just being uh, uh, the first game under a first-year coach, where you're just learning the terminology and just learning where you're supposed to be, what your responsibilities are, what your duties and assignments are. It was a one-point loss at that, so I mean, yeah. they, they, you know, they, they, actually the kicking game was a cost them that game. So, and they, and they made they made improvements in the next two weeks, and now they run into a, a juggernaut here tonight. Unfortunately. They're not quite ready for the level that Blossom's at. But, you know, as I mentioned earlier, a couple years ago, the shoe was on the other foot. The Old Head High School had the upper hand, and the program here at Bluffton had slipped uh, to the point where uh, they, they weren't competitive on the field against the Seahawks. So it's third and nine with uh, 47 seconds and counting. Ball's at the 44-yard line. So there might be a blitz coming. Nope, they back out of it. And he has to just throw it away. They were trying to set up a uh, screen, I believe. But a little bit of hand fighting going inside there. I don't know if the official saw that or not. No, no there's no flag. Oh, we saw it. Did they throw a yeah, flag? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's getting down to... Uh, well, it's fourth and nine. Oh, grabbing to the face mask and poking, poking in the face. Yeah. Well, there's no excuse for that kind of thing. You never got poked in the face, did you, Chuck? <laughs> I have a poker face, Dale. Didn't yeah. you know that? <laughs> uh, well, it's taking the ten. What? I don't know why they blew the whistle. We had a flag back here. Oh, well, we had a flag. We're going to check out the flag here before we get all kinds of flags. Well, that's some of the action that was going on inside there. Is it? Okay. Boy. Personal These fouls. Referees are going to sleep well tonight. Got a motion. Got a holding. Okay. Legal motion and a holding penalty against the Seahawks. I don't know why they blew the whistle, though. I mean, they play one another. They should have let them just run it back. But you know, the clock has expired. They're going to make them kick it again. And uh, we're still here. We get the fourth quarter yet to play, Chuck. That'll be followed by the Baba Fitness MVP Award and the Bridge Bowl Trophy Award presentation presented by the Golas Family Jewelers. And of course, I'll be handling the untouchable moments I know our crack crew is looking for untouchable moments even as we speak. Somebody wake up Tony. There's a replay here. This is not an untouchable moment. <laughs> See, I don't know why they stopped the play there. That's took it at the 10 and well, what are we doing here? They stopped it because it was a legal procedure and then as the play was allowed to let go with, with the legal procedure penalty, then there was some personal fouls. Oh, okay. So they're kind of sorted out right now. What a lemon thing was on? thanks. I don't have time to eat it. Oh, <laughs> guess I'm still on the air, aren't I? <laughs> okay, well. I guess it's timeout. See, oh yeah, the referees are out there talking, and coaches are out there. Chuck, we haven't had anyone cramp up yet tonight, though. <laughs> How about that pickle juice? We'll talk about it after this commercial break. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets. 
and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor. And patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets. And uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. Well, we're back here and Coach Payne is perplexed. We're perplexed. Well, and they're trying to explain it. Uh, it's a painful moment for the new head coach, that's for sure. That's very good, Chuck. <laughs> no pun intended there. <laughs> well, painful moment for a lot of his players, too. Yeah, the Seahawks were only four and seven last year. They have three victories already this year. Also and taking a three and two after this game. Once they go into their region and playing, they should have an opportunity to be, make the playoffs, and that'll give Coach B.J. Payne an opportunity for his to, to see his team develop some more. I mean, the mantra going into the season was to get better. Yeah. Uh, um, unfortunately, 210 to six were the scores last. Uh, last. It's only four counts games, as one game, though. So, or four including games, a, a 76 to nothing whitewash last well, year. They, they 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 marched off a five-yard penalty here. That was a little procedure. Yeah. And now they're picking up the ball. It's like, I think the referee's gonna pick up the ball and go home. No, it's a, and then it's a penalty against uh, Bluffton, 15 yards. I think it may be two, not just one. Well, yeah, they're gonna march. Well, I think they're gonna, or are they gonna go down and put, spot it on the other side of the field? Because they're gonna say the quarter's over. Oh, all right, I'm wrong. Just the quarter's over. All right. I made a mistake once. Did you? I thought I did once, but I was wrong. So. <laughs> So yeah, no, we, we had no nobody cramp up here because they're drinking pickle juice, isn't that right, Chuck? That's right. Well, out? I had a discussion with Coach Payne before the game, and you know we've been talking about pickle juice for a couple of years now, <laughs> <laughs> saying that there's no need for leg cramps at the high school football level, and, and neither is at the college or pro either. And he confirmed to me. He came up to me before the game, and he said, you know, we take pickle juice in the so locker rooms now. Everybody takes a. a uh, a, a cup full of pickle juice, a quick shot, before the games, before practices, and they, they are using it right now. Well, So they take the pickle juice during the games, they have it on their sidelines. Another thing they use, a little trick they picked up from the National Hockey League and the AHL, what the teams do, you know, their, their shifts usually run about one to two minutes out there. When the players come off the ice, they suck back on, ses on, on soy sauce in those little packets. A little so, packet of soy sauce. Yeah, just they, they pick up from the Chinese <laughs> restaurant. They keep it there on, a, uh, <laughs> on, on the bench. And when they come off the ice, they pop it. And with, with a swig of water, they were able to get down something that's palatable and also has a high salt content. Well, this kick bounces back. It's going to be down at around the 48-yard line. Well, I guess it explains why you go to, sometimes you go to a Chinese restaurant after a hockey game. There's, there's no soy sauce. It's all gone. They cleaned them out. So Coach Payne was saying on Hilton Head that some of the Chinese restaurants are supplying the packets of soy sauce to them. Oh, well, there's a promotion for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Maybe we should talk to Tony about that, getting a Chinese restaurant here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You mentioned restaurant. Tony will be there. So uh, we weren't so, so so far off as it was. People were listening. Pickle juice and soy sauce. Uh, yeah, it's good to hear the coaches are listening to us. <laughs> There's that speed sweep. Uh-oh. Still going. And finally dragged down. What a great call into the wide side of the field. You're able to bring start the speed sweep. You bring your wing back in motion as the lead blocker. William Dupont, there's number 42 again. I mean, it's just, you know, we do. We it's a great call. I mean, this, this is like, th this offense two years ago had this quarterback under the center, and it was just the flex bone what Paul Johnson was running at Georgia Southern and then at Naval Academy and Georgia Tech. There Coach he is again. Coach took it a step further, and he moved the quarterback into a shotgun formation. And now, rather than look like Georgia Tech, they look like Oregon. 
and they're able to, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the same offense, just run from a deeper perspective in the backfield. The quarterback's six yards behind the center. He's got a better view if, he's, if he looks downfield right away to pass. And so does the running back. And they run it as an option called, called a read option. And he kind of fakes that's just a, a play action pass. Oh, boy. But it's, a, it's really been refined to the science here. Great job by Frazier. Well, that was a 16 yard touchdown pass to Robinson from Frazier. And uh, I don't know if they've got three digits on the scoreboard or not, but we may find out. <laughs> Extra point try coming. Well, Coach Payne was saying that uh, their philosophy this year is or their motto is, you know, if you don't like what happened, change it. Well, they're going to have to do a lot more to change this one. It's 66 to nothing in favor of the Bobcats with 10.48 to go. You're watching the High School Football Zone. On WHHI Sports TV. The answer is up there in the patterns. Our best guess is it hasn't gotten very far. Oh, we rattle a few. Morning. Five minutes. Homeland Marathon. On demand. We put Showtime on your time. Sorry. Passionate about Homeland? We invent better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Welcome back to Bluffton. The Bobcats set to kick off once again, a familiar sight here tonight. And this goes to the goal line, out to the 20. 25, breaking loose. 30, still on his feet. And finally taken down at the 37 yard line. And uh, that's number two, that's Dylan. We also have it first and 10 from their own 40. Uh, Johnny Dillon gets to redeem himself a little bit. The senior, Almost six feet, 180 right. pounds, makes a nice run out of there. He's had a rough time returning kicks earlier, but he finally gets some good positive yards. You know, we got to go back and talk a little bit about the spread offense, Dale, you know, and why teams run it. It started in the college level a few years ago when the ground and pound, ground, uh, ground and pound attacks at Ohio State and other schools. Three yards in a cloud of dust, sure, right? That, that, had the, that could recruit the biggest and baddest guys. In order to compete against them, you saw the MAC conference, some of the teams go in there and start running uh, spread offenses. And then you've seen other teams that, in order to compete, run spread offenses at Purdue and uh, at Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, where they were running option schemes that got the ball on the outside. Julian keeps it here, picks up a couple on the, on the play. It'll be second down coming up. But the basis of the, the basic premise of the spread offense is to get four receivers up on the line of scrimmage. As you see, two wings and then uh, two two uh, wide outs. Hilton Head runs a little bit of variation of that. They're, they're running a two-back offense right now. There's a pitch to the back, and he's met by the right side of the defensive front seven. One, two, three, four. There's a lot of guys there. Well, you know, you got two backs in the backfield, and Bluffton loads up with eight guys in the box. I mean, that's uh, you got to be able to audible out of, out of that, or be able to put a play action pass in, or something like that. Well, when Bluffton has the ball, we'll go back and talk more about the spread offense. Right now, we're getting a gem of a game defensively turned in by the Bluffton Bob Bobcats, and we should give them some credit for it. It was up the middle, across the 40. Chuck, who do you like tomorrow night? The big game, Notre Dame, Michigan. What do you think? Where are they playing? At Notre Dame. Ah, uh, you got to go with the home team, huh? Uh, well. That's that's worth seven points <laughs> in that battle. I'll take that. How long has it been since Notre Dame won that contest? Uh, it's been a couple. Well, it, yeah, they've been beat pretty bad by either Michigan or Michigan State the last couple of years. So. Yeah. They did win it last year, though. Yeah. They lost to Michigan State, but they, they won Michigan. So, but. Uh, but no, they, they, no, they didn't win Michigan. I'm sorry, they beat Michigan State last year. Yeah. 
But uh, they beat them this year too. Yeah, they, they, pretty they, solid. They, that quarterback is like he had 944 yards. Well, you know, we saw him play. He, they came to Hilton Head High School. Myrtle beats high. high. Ooh. On the punt, returned uh, out to the 40, 30 yard line. Marcus Merritt, only a sophomore, makes a nice tackle here. 57 is able to run down Smalls. Watch him come out at the bottom of the screen here and make a really nice tackle. So, we got a man down on the field. We'll take a commercial break. You're watching the high school football zone. On WHHI Sports TV. The folks here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram are piling on the savings with a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country and hitting the road in comfort. With a spacious interior, you can take the whole crew on your next adventure. Where'd everybody go? Come test drive one today at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram at the new River Auto Mall. We're located on Highway 278, exit 8 at I-95 or online at HiltonHeadCJD.com. We have it all at the new River Auto Mall. Golas Family Jewelers is a family-owned business that you've trusted as we've serviced our community for over 15 years. Golas is now inviting you to visit us at The Store Next Door. The Store Next Door is an eclectic collection of unique fashions and gifts. We offer Bravo bags, chameleon sterling silver jewelry, laurel birch accessories, and Keir jewelry. I'm Chris Golas and we want to thank you for your continued business and invite you to come see us at The Store Next Door. Golas, an industry name you can trust. People say I catch everything. It's true, because I have time on the cable video and internet. I can watch thousands of on-demand movies and all my favorite shows anytime, anywhere. On my smartphone, on my tablet, super fast on my laptop, and my 60-inch LCD. Uh-oh. Whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable invents better ways to love it even more. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Okay, we get the injured player walking off under his own uh, power. It's a nice game brought to you by New River Auto Mall, where they have it all at New River Auto Mall. Over 1,000 vehicles at 12 dealerships, all in one location. And by Time Warner Cable. Catch all the action this season with Time Warner Cable TV, internet, and phone. Whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable provides better ways to share it, get lost in it, and enjoy it even more. Time Warner Cable, enjoy better. First and 10 at the 30, Chuck. And slipping down with the, the loss on the play is number 22. That's DuPont and just kind of lost his feet there. He's pretty quick. Oop. Somebody watered the field down there. It'll be second down coming up. Tonight's game also brought to you by Salty Dog Cafe. Get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory located at South Beach Marina or on Arrow Road. And you can pick one up anytime at www.saltydog.com. The pitch in the backfield to DuPont and kicks it to the outside, stays on his feet, and he gets racked up right there. And uh, his helmet comes loose, but he's fine. He walks it off. It's flu season, so tonight's game also brought to you by one of our sponsors, Walgreens. At Walgreens, there's always a way to stay well. So visit Walgreens, get your flu shots. It's Getting to be that tomorrow's day's the last day of summer, Chuck. <laughs> That's Kalen Ford making the making the tackle a hard hit there. Almost decapitated the ball carrier. And they're staying with that no huddle offense. Get up right over the ball and they're ready to run a play. Right up the middle. 50. 40. He's gone. They're not gonna catch him. That's Tyke Major. Oh my. 65 yards for Tyke. I can't 
key major. And uh, they, once he broke through that line, no one was going to catch him. 72 with the extra point try coming. Nice block that time. Trap block by Josh Darrell, number 55. 6'1", 280 pound guard. Not sure he why took the out Ford inside. What's, I'm sorry? Yeah, I, I just say, commenting on why the clock is still running, not stopped. <laughs> or it is stopped. Anyways, the extra point's good. 73. Well, another 27 points. Struck and we'll find out whether or not they got 100 on the scoreboard. You're watching the High School Football Zone on WHHI Sports TV. For 30 years of accounting and financial experience, DMP Financial Services provides small businesses and individuals with an array of accounting and financial solutions. From the consulting services of an experienced CFO to monthly bookkeeping and individual tax return preparation, you can expect the professionals at DMP Financial Services to provide you with accurate and timely financial information to grow your company and meet all of your individual needs. Call 422-3203 to see how they can help you. Well, welcome back here to Bobcat Stadium. If you're a Bobcat fan, if you're a Hilton Head Seahawk fan, you're probably not having a very good evening watching this. But 73 to nothing. And uh, you know, their fans are obviously excited. Almost to the goal line. What now they say it. Did go in the end zone. And one way, one waved it in, one waved it out. Well, that's well it looks come like out to he the steps 20. back into the in the end zone as he catches the ball here to get his start. Stepped over there. Well, you know, I, do it now. I, I, I told you before. I, I, you know, I ran for the track team. I was on the track team. I actually wasn't a runner, but uh, we went to the state championship once. And uh, I was a pole boulder and a discus thrower. We had a guy get injured in the four by four relay. We just needed somebody to go in there and compete. They're going to kick this again, Chuck. Right. Wow! I think it was an inadvertent whistle. I think the when he caught it, they they, they wanted to start the clock, and they, and they blew the whistle by mistake. The referees are getting a little tired out there too. <laughs> but to finish my us. story about about running in the track, we I, I'll never forget. I, I was given a chance to run a leg in in the. In the, in, in the four by four 100 and we were getting creamed by, by, the, by everybody and I was running like last and all I can remember is the coach yelling at me as I'm running around the track head down knees high head down <laughs> knees high that's all I remember and you that's finished the race say, and I finished the race that's all I can say right now is head down knees high okay here's a kick at the goal line now they got the clock started correctly. Takes it across the 20 to about the 25, and that'll be it. And still some pushing and shoving going on out there, but it'll come out to the 25. And oh boy, he just got leveled. That was uh, Harrington that got leveled on a, a by one of the. Gunners. Now, I'm sure that's what Coach Payne is telling his players right now, or something like it. Head, Head down, down, knees, knees high. high. Head down, knees high. Band is getting ready to perform after the conclusion of tonight's game, where clock is running here with under six minutes to go. Snap, looks, throws it, intercepted. Off by they stepped out of bounds, but it goes back over to the Bobcats. There's a flag on the play. Personal foul. Oh, we got a flag. It looks like it's against the Bobcats. And that'll wipe out the interception. Yeah. So they're going to bring it back, and uh, it'll be. Uh, a walk off against the Bobcats, so the Seahawks will retain possession. I believe it's against the Bobcats. It could be after the interception. We'll have to see. I think it is after the interception. Face mask. 
Oh, oh, they're just going to tack it on. So it comes out to the 40. Face mask penalty. And the clock will continue to run here. Tonight's game brought to you by Golas Family Jewelers. Tonight's 2012 Bridge Bowl is presented by the Golas Family Jewelers and the store next door. Shop for all the best holiday season hostess gifts at the store next door. Golas, an industry name you can trust. Breaking free. That's Lewis. Still going. The 10, 5. Touchdown, Khalil Lewis. And no flags. Well, Heads down, knees high. There's number 17, that defensive end, and thought he had him, but couldn't hold on. A little unnecessary push at the end. Well, you already see right now, down on the field is number 17, and guess what? He has leg cramps. Oh. And they push down on your toes, try to release the tension in your both, he's got him. He's got leg cramps. Well, we not. Well, I don't think Hilton Head High is going to come out and offer him any pickle juice right now, though. We're <laughs> That's what he needs. We're going to take a timeout. Hilton has finally scored at 73 to six. Extra point try coming. You're watching the High School Football Zone on WHHI Sports TV. It's tough to come this far and lose. It hurts, but you are defined in life by the way you respond to defeat. That pit in your stomach. Fill it with fire. Next season starts right now. Remember this hurt. Think about it when you want to sleep in in the morning. Think about it when you want to shut it down instead of doing an extra set. Promise yourself that you will never, ever feel like this again. You promise yourself that you will come back untouchable. <laughs> We're back here in Bluffton where the Seahawks have finally put six points on the board. We're attending to a player who's got some leg cramps out there. It's number 17 for Bluffton. Shamik Blackshear, and Blackshear is only a sophomore, a defensive end. He had a big fumble recovery earlier where he was basically untouchable going down the sidelines, Judd. And uh, he'll be quite a, uh, quite a star of the future here. He's only a sophomore. Here's a replay of the run by Lewis. Little Statue of Liberty play on, or just an underneath handoff with a fake pass and you see him break away. There's Blackshear trying to catch him. Lewis ends up taking a tumble at the end and they're pushed down by Smalls. That, uh, that went for uh, 67 yards, I, I counted as, Chuck. 60 or 63 yards, sorry. Well, that's what we, were, we thought we might see earlier in the game was Lewis carrying the football effectively against the Bluffton Bob Bobcats. It did not happen, didn't develop. And that just led to a lot of three and outs for the Seahawks. Right. Giving the ball right back to Bluffton with that high powered offense. But you know, we talked about before though, Dale, you know, one of the things that right. needs to be improved here at, at Bluffton was their defense. It failed them last year in a state championship game. And, um, you know, the, it looks like they changed their defense. They're going to a 3 5 scheme. They only have three down linemen. Well, here's the extra point try coming. Waiting for the snap. Good snap, kicks up, and the kick is good. It's now 73 to seven in favor of the Bobcats. Tonight's game brought to you by Lava Fitness. Stop in today for a free class or a training session. Relax and burn calories in their sauna and enjoy time away from your children with their free child care. Lava 24 Fitness, reach your peak. 
Well, they got the cheerleaders on the opposite side of the sideline for Hilton Head High School dressed in her navy blue. And for the first time tonight, they got down on the ground and did some push-ups, seven of them. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a Bluffton cheerleader. <laughs> they score again. Yeah. 73 plus 7 be 80. You do them every time, too. <laughs> you start all over again. Oh, man. Wow. Yep. Well, it's a beautiful night for football here, and uh, we're coming into the fall season again next week. WHHI will be on the island at Hilton Head Prep as they entertain Calhoun Academy. And then uh, in two weeks, we'll be right back here at Bluffton. And uh, Buford and Bluffton will do battle, two 4A teams, which will be an interesting matchup. Um, I think it might be a little different than this score, hopefully. Well, that'll be their first true test against a, an equal opponent. Yeah. Here's the kick. Taking it about the 20, 15, 20, 25, breaking into the outside. Still going. Breaks the tackle. Uh oh. He's going to go all the way. That's BJ Hill. Wow. B.J. Hill, a junior, and he breaks containment to the outside, and they weren't going to catch him. That was uh, 85 yards for the touchdown. And we still got 456 to go on the block. Oh my goodness. The extra point's good, and that's 80. I don't have ever seen an 80 score. This is not even arena football. It's 80 to seven in favor of the Bobcats. No, you're not, you didn't misunderstand me, folks. We're gonna take a commercial break. You're watching the High School Football Zone. WHHI Sports TV. If you like high school football, you're going to love high school basketball. Tune in this winter to see your favorite teams face off against their crosstown rivals. The High School Basketball Game of the Week, only on WHHI-TV. get in a fight. Well, welcome back to Bluffton. The two coaches are out on the field talking to the referee and um, I don't know, you know, 4.56 to go. For a running clock, it's been the slowest moving running clock I think I've ever seen. <laughs> and two coaches have been talked to by the, ref the referee and I think you just want to make sure they don't get, doesn't get any chippier. We got our police escort here with our truck. To, we're safe. We get a member of the uh, Bluffton Police Department here with us. And uh, here's the kick. Oh my. That's in the end zone. Comes out to the 20. Who's, who's working the clock? <laughs> well, it's 80 to seven. Things are getting rough up here. We even have the police up here now. I know, it's getting, uh, I don't know, it's getting a little uncomfortable. Maybe it's be <laughs> Are we gonna make it back to the island? And Tony's not even here. So. Well, as a handoff to Lewis, breaks the tackle, still on his feet, still churning. Gets it across the 25 to about the 27, second down coming up. 
Good job that time. 72 comes over on the offensive line for the Seahawks. That was Lucas Castelbo. Castelvi throws a nice trap block. Spring Lewis free. Lewis is trying to get his helmet back on. Okay. Now they're ready. Good snap. Here's Lewis again. And he's across the 35 to the 39. And that's another Walgreens first down. So this time 76 works his way between the ball defender and the ball carrier is able to open up a hole. Dylan Roberts? Yeah, from the right offensive tackle position. Looks like he's getting some playing time. Now a little pitch. Lewis, no, it's not Lewis. That's uh, that's 22. Mordell will be carried. Mordell. Mordell, yeah, Mordell. This about four yards, second down, Seahawks. 3.38 to go. It's uh, pretty much the game is over, but. Well, we got some guys getting some player in time out in the field right now. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's one of the good things about games, get, get some playing time, get a player on the field. Yep. Give them some experience. It'll be uh, second and six coming up. Stay tuned for the Labo 24 Fitness MVP Award. I have no clue who we're going to give that to. And uh, we've also got the Bridge Bowl Trophy presentation. And we'll be. Uh, I, w I would. Checking that out as well. Oh, here's the here's the trophy here. We got it right here. Okay, we got the Bridge Bowl trophy. That's a heavy sucker. <laughs> Bring Tony here to handle that. Yeah. That's Moradell once again to the 40. Oh, no, no, check it. D'Amico, check that, 32. So D'Amico. motor's still running. Look at the speed on D'Amico. Yeah. Uh, he can match Bluffton with Another his first speed. down for the uh, Seahawks. Walgreens first down. I want to thank all our sponsors. New River Auto Mall, Walgreens, Salty Dog Cafe, Lava Fitness, Time Warner Cable, and the Golas Family Jewelers along with Dick's Sporting Goods and h, &H Auto. They make these, uh, pub these broadcasts possible. So thanks to all of them, and please support them whenever you can. Lewis breaking free, going again for a touchdown. Khalil Lewis. That's a 40-yard touchdown run for Lewis. Last-minute run, more on the board. Well. Lewis comes here again. He breaks a couple of tackles. Uses his blazing speed to get it. Once he gets out in there, into the secondary, there's no one stopping him. Like I said earlier, head down, knees high, Dale. Yep. Puts two scores on the board for the Seahawks. Extra point, come try and Horoshack is the holder. He's, he's so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, spot, kick. And the kick is good. Well, there's some improvement in the kicking game. Well, that's right. The snap and everything. The whole um, ball of snap wax there. Snap hold and... It's 80 to 14. We're going to stay right here. Watch the last uh, minute and 24 seconds. And then uh, we'll have the presentation. There's Tony down there with the uh, the bowl He's getting the crowd trophy. excited with the bowl trophy there. Yeah. Only Tony can do that with one hand. Look at him. Jeez. Unbelievable. We're gonna, we're gonna put Tony's phone number on the screen for all the ladies out there. It's 555-12-TONY. <laughs> it's 555-CALL-TONY. That's, that's who you wanna call. So, um, 
Well, the Seahawks get to kick off. Which didn't help them out last time because <laughs> Bobcats ran it back. So maybe you want to squib this one. What do you think? No. Can we kick take it. some kneel downs, please? No, kick it. Do we, do we have the victory formation? Kick it. Or is this Tampa Bay and the Giants? I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Here comes Demetrius. will be snagged right around the 40 yard line. Colin White, the kicker, makes a stop. And uh, that's number 11, Demetrius Smalls. And he finally gets knocked out of bounds. And the clock is running. Okay, let's. See if they even have a victory formation. <laughs> yeah, it's it's called a touchdown run. <laughs> yeah. They're they're gonna. Oh, they got for the first time. C.J. Wow. Fraser's not in the game. You're not gonna. Wow. Okay, Alexander Davis, a sophomore quarterback, number four. I think he just played yesterday in the JV game, which was also won by Bluffton, handily over Hilton Head High School. Was it 80 to 14? Pretty close. <laughs> it's like 64 to 11. <laughs> but I'm not gonna Again, go reminder that at the conclusion of tonight's game, well, we will have the uh, Bridge Bowl Trophy presentation. So. Stay tuned for that. They're going to let the clock run out. I think everyone has pretty much had enough, including the referees. Well, we came to Bluffton, and Bluffton is going to keep the Bridge Bowl trophy as they win it. Final score, 80 to 14. I'm Dale Planica, Chuck Zapek alongside. Stay tuned for the postgame presentations and awards uh, here on the High School, High School Football, Football Zone. On WHHI Sports TV. It's tough to come this far and lose. It hurts. But you are defined in life by the way you respond to defeat. That pit in your stomach, fill it with fire. Next season starts right now. Remember this hurt. Think about it when you want to sleep in in the morning. Think about it when you want to shut it down instead of doing an extra set. Promise yourself that you will never, ever feel like this again. You promise yourself that you will come back untouchable. The folks here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram are piling on the savings with a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country and hitting the road in comfort. With a spacious interior, you can take the whole crew on your next adventure. Where'd everybody go? Come test drive one today at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram at the new River Auto Mall. We're located on Highway 278, exit 8 at I-95 or online at HiltonHeadCJD.com. We have it all at the new River Auto Mall. Golas Family Jewelers is a family-owned business that you've trusted as we've serviced our community for over 15 years. Golas is now inviting you to visit us at the store next door. The store next door is an eclectic collection of unique fashions and gifts. We offer Bravo bags, chameleon sterling silver jewelry, laurel birch accessories, and Keir jewelry. I'm Chris Golas and we want to thank you for your continued business and invite you to come see us at the store next door. Golas, an industry name you can trust. Welcome back to Bluffton and the 
uh, Bridge Bowl here tonight with the final score 80 to 14, and we're here for the Dick Sporting Goods Untouchable Moment in tonight's game. And tonight, the Untouchable Moment is a uh, kind of a defensive play here tonight. Uh, there were a lot of offense too. Here you'll see uh, on the on the halfback option attempt, and then uh, Scott D'Amico can't hold on to the ball, and it's finally scooped up by Shamik Blackshear. He's only a sophomore. He's a defensive end, number 17. And he just outruns everyone, takes it all the way into the end zone, a 70-yard fumble recovery for the touchdown, and that is uh, the Dick's untouchable moment. You'll see the uh, Scott was looking to pass it here, and uh, stiff arm is one man, but can't hold on to the ball now. He's got it out there in that one hand and drops it, and alertly Blackshear picks it up, and uh, he's got uh, quite a future ahead of him. Long strides for this uh, He's 6'5", and uh, he's going to have uh, quite, a, quite a career here at Bluffton High School. So Blackshear takes it in for the touchdown, a 70-yard fumble recovery, and that is tonight's Dick's Sporting Goods Untouchable Moment. We'll be right back with the presentation of the trophy and the MVP award after these messages. It's tough to come this far and lose. It hurts. But you are defined in life by the way you respond to defeat. That pit in your stomach, fill it with fire. Next season starts right now. Remember this hurt. Think about it when you want to sleep in in the morning. Think about it when you want to shut it down instead of doing an extra set. Promise yourself that you will never, ever feel like this again. You promise yourself that you will come back untouchable. Hey folks, and welcome back to the 2012 Bridge Bowl where Bluffton defeated Hilton Head 80 to 14. And we are here with the Golis Family Jeweler 2012 Bridge Bowl Trophy. And presenting this trophy are Chris and Ava from Golis Family Jewelry. They're the owners. Uh, guys, if you go ahead and present the trophy to the coach and CJ. And that <laughs> How's that feel, Coach? That's a great, great win. Thank y'all so much. Uh, I'm, I'm just proud of the Bobcat Nation and these Bobcats. I mean, they uh, they work hard every day, 
They hate Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but they love Friday. It sure does feel good now, does it? Yeah, it feels great. <laughs> it's going to be a great weekend. That's great. Well, now we have Nate Dixon coming here. Uh, Nate is going to come here and present the Lava 24 Fitness, play, most valuable player of the game, who was C.J. Fraser. Nate? Thank you, Chuck. On behalf of Lava 24 Fitness, it's our pleasure to uh, uh, present this Lava 24 Fitness MVP award to C.J. Frazier. C.J., we know you didn't do it all by yourself. Six touchdown passes, one running. Who, who, what, what do you remember most about tonight's performance for yourself? Uh, all the running around, everybody getting the ball, taking it to the house after they catch it. It's just, it's amazing how good these guys are. You have some great speed out there, don't you, with your players? Oh, yeah. It's exciting. I feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> Coach Cribs, we know you're, you're the inventor of this great spread offense that you run here at Bluffton. We've seen it evolve over the last couple of years. Uh, how, do you think, how do you think that uh, you, you'll progress in the future with this? Well, you know, I looked it up on the Internet, and uh, this offense, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, it's a, it just, they know this offense as well as I do. Uh, they love this, what they do. They have fun with it. The offensive line, I mean, they're – Two of them are three-year veterans, four of them are return starters, and you know they, they block well for his backs and, and CJ and give him plenty of protection. But uh, we're excited. I mean, you know, last year scoring eight on 14 points, you know, it's hard to hard to set a goal after that. But uh, we're going we're going to see if we can match it. CJ, you're the engineer of this great offense for the Bluffton Bobcats. Um, what 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 do you see coming up for yourself in two weeks against Buford? Uh, we just want to make sure we continue to get better each week, and if we just keep getting better each week, then we should be good. Okay, where are you going to take out that offensive line tonight for dinner? You're going to nick and it seems like they like Outback. So. Outback is that it? Rather than Jim and Nick's. Okay, well, offensive line, you hear that? <laughs> Outback for CJ. Oh for yeah, that's right. Woo! Well, that's great. Well, again, we want to congratulate you, Coach Cripps, for winning the the Bridge Bowl. The score 80 to 14. Bluffton Bobcats defeating Hilton Head Seahawks with the most valuable lava fitness with valuable, valuable player of the game, C.J. Fraser, and we want to thank the Golas family, both Chris and Eva, for, for having a, this this great trophy presented this evening. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, here you go. Yeah. Come on, that's carry that for me. That's too heavy. That's the Friday Night Football Zone on WHHI Sports TV. If you like high school football, you're going to love high school basketball. Tune in this winter to see your favorite teams face off against their crosstown rivals. The High School Basketball Game of the Week, only on WHHI-TV.